We will be starting momentarily. Actually, I guess I can open up the actual folder I have. So just... Fly knows this, but for the people who just joined in, off-screen I did go back to 100 Acre Wood and get the high scores in the minigame, so I have the uh, Sora Cheer ability. I don't think I'm going to be using it, though, for simply because Fly doesn't have that. He also doesn't have Xantasukin, and so this way it'll be a little more fair. But Donald and Goofy have the Cheer abilities, so we're using those. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. ASMR. Whoa. Whoa. Have you played the newest Five Nights at Freddy's game? Um, to be honest, I've really only played two of the Five Nights at Freddy's games. I played the first one, and I played Pizzeria Ah, uh, because I remember you were helping me with one of them. I I've watched people play Five Nights at Freddy's, the series, a lot, but I've only played a f handful mm, of them myself. The new one looks really good, though. Yeah, the new one has a crazy theory on to, like... If you follow the lore, well, what else is new? Yeah, if you follow the lore, <laughs> it's got some crazy lore. Oh, yeah. I, well, I would expect nothing less from Five Nights at Freddy's. Like, if it didn't have crazy lore, I'd actually be disappointed. Yep. Yeah, no, it's pretty cool. Okay, let me load my game, because I decided to go to the menu on accident. Oh, I've been there. Why is my thing... Why is... No. It's full screen. Yes. There we go. It's nice to have an unlocked frame rate. Mmm. I, I could stream at a pretty much unlocked frame rate, but my laptop would not like that. Yeah. I, <laughs> if I stream any more than 30 FPS, it's like, no, please. Yeah. Why do you hate yeah, me? <laughs> do, 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 do. One of these days, I will get a non-laptop, like an actual PC that's powerful, that will be able to stream better. Yeah, that would be cool. But right now, I don't think my audience particularly cares if it's at 30 FPS or not. Mm. Well, this game is one of the games I can run in 60, so it does look a lot smoother in 60. Mm. Hits that just right. It does. Um, okay, so Ansem Riku, where do I need to go? I need to go to... Hall of Bastion, the castle there chapel. There it is. Look at that battle level. This, this is going to be so hard, I feel like. Uh-oh, I'm going to have to... Is there a way for me to watch your stream but mute it? Yes. Okay, there okay, we go. Okay, figured it out. Otherwise, otherwise my audience is going to be seen do hearing yeah. double. Yeah. Yeah, All right, so I have to focus on my game, my OBS, your game, and Twitch chat all at the same time. This will be great. <laughs> yep. There you go. All right. First things first. I mean, you first. can, you can, as long as your OBS is running good in the background, you can like kind of minimize it. Well, I need to, I need to keep an eye on it in case it crashes. Yeah. And then I have to pause the stream. Yeah, that would be unfortunate. Well, I mean... Alright. Well, how do you have your Twitch chat open on your phone? On my phone, Well, if your yeah. stream crashes, you would know, because it'll just crash on your phone. I don't have the actual stream open on my phone, though. I only have the chat. Mm. That w Otherwise, my phone's battery is going to go couple I see. Uh, um, oh, I, I entered the wrong room. I go to the castle chapel, right, Suriku? Yep. That's All right, and that's I have exactly the right correct. keyblade, and I have three elixirs. Okay, that should be good. And I have a granola bar here. For a snack. Ooh, that's very good. Chocolate covered. That's a good. That's a good dinner. Yep. I'll eat my dinner after this. Wait, this is how long? How long do you have tonight? Um. Got like 11, right? Realistically, I'll have to stop streaming before a little before midnight. Mm, okay. I don't have to start work at 6:30. That's just when I normally do. Mm. Oh. All right, just just kill me, you stupid enemies. I walked into the wrong room in Wonderland and paid the price. I don't think they appreciate you calling them stupid. Well, I called them stupid. So they oh no, are you kidding me? No. Where do I even go? Wait, let's stop. I forget where to go. Where do I go to find Riku? I'll go to the Grand Hall. I think it's... This should help. I hate... Why did I do... I'm actually going to reload my game because I walked into the wrong room in Wonderland and now it won't let me leave. I should hit the save point and then figure out. There should be a hallway 
out of the castle chapel into the lift yep. stop, yep. and then through the lift stop to the grand yep. hall. I'm in the lift stop right now. Grand also, hall. Do you, did you look up? Did you look up strats for Ransom nope. Riku? Nope. Well, uh, God help you. Am I gonna get destroyed? Well, I went in knowing some strats, and I got destroyed. I I actually did, but a while ago, and I forget them. So I'd have to watch them again. Okay. So what I did is I did part... I never did full combos, really, against him. Or I did, like, a 1-2 and then 1-2-3. Mm -hmm. So, like, five hit combos, kind of. Mm -hmm. And that seemed to stagger him for a while, but... Okay, yes, this is the room I need. This fight, this guide says this fight is not that hard, actually. It says not actually Oh, actually, that hard, actually. it's a very... I will say, it is a pretty consistent fight, if you really know it. There's very little luck involved, from what I've heard, it says, but it's still really good. For the first phase, move close to him to bait the leaping attack and do a full ground combo. He retaliates after four hits, so take the hit, cure, and continue. Once he powers up, oh, I... bait him into the leap attack and do a full combo, but don't mash the combo. If you output slow enough or retaliate with a spin slash, which will parry with your finisher, you can do another combo after this, so keep doing this and it'll fall pretty quickly. If you didn't grab combo yeah, plus... Yeah, it's, it's really easy, Fly. If you didn't grab combo plus, just do a single hit followed by a full ground combo for four hits. Oh yeah, that's it. Not not a two hit, then a free hit. It was a one hit, then a free hit. He does break out. Hey, Proxima! Happy New Year! Yeah, I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> okay. I lit the first lamp. Now all I have to do is light the second one before the enemies can get me. Ha ha! <laughs> Beautiful. I lit the painting on fire, which is a normal thing you can do. Now we just leave and come back. Do 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 do. Oh yes, and that's how you do pacifistic Kingdom Hearts. Hmm. A true Chad way. All right, I'm not actually going to use this, but now I have Lady Luck. I am not giving you an elixir. That's just not happening. Just bait the leaping attack, then do a full ground combo. Yeah, that leaping attack is where he goes like, "Here it comes," and then leaps down. Okay, I see. Okay, not too, not too bad there. Yeah, that one you can just kind of dodge roll past him, and then... That's start the thing I hate about Atlantica, you can't dodge roll. Oh, that's one of many things I hate about Atlantica. The camera's so bad in this game. It could be worse, though. Considering it's like a relatively early 3D platformer kind of game, it's... I suppose. I mean, compared, <laughs> compared to Mario 64, this camera's flawless. Can you do your leap attack, please? All right, now let's let's actually do the Olympus preliminaries because that's a thing we can do now. He didn't stop after his leap leap attack. He kept going. Bar. Get that sustenance. Get that sustenance. All right, we're entering the games now. But the Heartless are tougher, so we'll see how you it goes. You said Toy Story is your favorite world in Kingdom Hearts, right? Um, Toy Story or Timeless River from KH2. Mm, famous like the Timeless River and Smash, then. The outfit. Oh, yeah. That's a great one. Oh, wait. I actually probably should have equipped Lady Luck for this. Man, what, Goofy. Donald dies instantaneously, but Goofy survives the apocalypse. Have you fought, what, what have a guy. You fought Sephiroth? I, at level one? Yeah. No. <laughs> that's that sound like that's literally like the that's like the hardest challenge in Kingdom Hearts 1. You know? Although I think I would rather do that than fight the Ice Titan at level one. Mm. Because Ice Titan at level 1, that's the fight where you have to, like, block his, like, ice attacks back at him, but you don't get blocked in level 1, so you have to parry them that's all. Dumb. Hey, Cloud. The 
this actually could have a positive impact. If I can beat the preliminaries, then beat Cerberus, and then clear the first ten rounds of the Hades Cup, I can get an extra one MP. Right. That I probably won't use if I want things to be equal. <laughs> Alright. Let's get rid of the Blue Rhapsodies first. Yeah, that would make a big because difference. Hate, because I hate music. Yeah, that, act that actually would make a big difference. <laughs> Like, Sora's cheer ability, I'm not even sure if that'll make much of a difference. It might for the World of Chaos fight. But against, like, the final boss, nah. Don't touch me. Since when did Shadows get so tough? Um... Nice job aiming, Sora. You know that was that was the best grab. You know what I love about Kingdom Hearts One? How Riku's voice is like both of the voices together. Oh yeah, like, that's really cool. It has like the fusion voice. Yeah. Honestly, I really like parts of KH One and really hate other parts of it. Yeah. I really like the charm and like the simplicity of it, but I don't like the platforming or the camera. Yeah. Uh-oh, this is bad. Sometimes he does three swings. Yeah, fly. Sometimes he does three. Oh, okay. Uh-oh, this is not good. Oh. No! Oh, that's not fair. <laughs> Look, kid, you ain't ready for the preliminary. I should have done the preliminaries before I beat Handsome Riku. <sighs> Alright. Blizzard could be good, but I'm hit. I'm using Thunder. Oh, he's doing his... He's doing... Okay, he's moving to the next phase. Yeah. Once he powers up, bait him into the leap Break. attack and do a full combo, but don't match the... I don't think I have combo plus equipped. Yeah, you. I think you need to beat Olympus to get that. Yeah, I don't think I have that. You don't need it. Just do one hit, wait a bit, then do yeah, a full combo. Yeah, that's what it says. If you didn't grab combo plus, just do a single hit, followed by a full ground combo for the four hits. Oh shoot, why didn't I equip Lady Luck? I'm so dumb. Okay, so that leap attack is... This is a fight that Lady Luck actually The dodge, dark aura, jump over the initial charge, glide above the rest of them, and try dodge rolling for the slam attack. Okay. Let's see how we do. I hate the soldiers. I can never attack a lot attack they're about to do. I have to use an elixir. Uh-oh. Actually, no, that's fine. You can use an elixir for that fight. Oh, actually, I forgot, because after Ansem Riku, you then have to go back to Hollow Bastion, climb up it again, and then fight the Behemoth. Shoot. He's doing some crazy stuff. I can't even see. This camera is so bad. Are, are you using lock-on or yes. not? Okay. This must be Dark Dark Aura. Where he starts charging repeatedly? Like the, yeah, 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 yeah! Yeah. Yeah, that one's a nightmare until you learn where the safe places are for that attack. Oh no. I'm really glad that when you attack the Blue Rhapsodies, they stop doing their attack. Do that leaping attack. Oh, there it is. I messed up there. I almost died. Well, as long as you only almost died. Fuck, gone it. Why? Whenever I have my controller charging, it for some reason constantly is like, oh, you don't have a headset. Oh, there's no microphone you can use. Like, that's weird. Just knock it off. 
Well, my controller should be fully charged, so... Alright. Wow! There it is. Thunder did, like, no damage to these things. Oh my god, I can't hit him. Oh, what?! Some unknown fiend hit my crotch and I died, and that was it. Oh. I can't hit him. Alright. Oh, don't worry, guys. We're going in with eight strength this time. So, you know fiends are gonna go differently. Oh, I'm being dumb. Welcome to the preliminaries. It's not hard to dodge all of his attacks, though. Yeah. Well, also, A, you're getting back into the swing of things. I just have trouble hitting him. I don't have trouble dodging his stuff. Yeah, that's the... Yeah, you gotta find where the safe points are that you can hit him. Like, I can just glide away from all of his stuff. Well, that's the thing. Some stuff you should glide away from, some stuff you can dodge roll past, and that lets you set up a combo. So, like, for his for his uh, leap attack... Oh, no, I'm not dead. For his leap attack, I dodge roll, like, sideways past his shock waves, and then start a ground combo. I can't hit him after he does the leaping attack. It's... Well, I just died. It says here... Bait him into the leap attack... Yeah. Wow, these guys are so annoying. Man, where's Combo Master when you need it? Yep, I don't have that. Definitely don't have that. Yeah, I, don't. Well, I don't think you can get that in a level 1 run. Er, I was talking about um, Combo Plus. Oh. Thanks, Goofy. You actually really helped out for that one. Do you think level one is fine, or it's too difficult? Um, KH one level one is not that fun. <laughs> KH two level one, it was actually really good. Mm, I've heard that a lot. What about three? There's, um, haven't tried free level it's one. It's probably good. I imagine with pro codes, it'd be like really impossible. Don't play. Cage free level one pro codes except for the bonus data fights. Yeah. The main game was not at all balanced for it, and it it's extremely apparent. Uh, that sucks. Like to give you an idea, I tried to do this was not level one. It was just regular playthrough on beginner mode with max pro codes, and I could That's not do crazy. it. The, the Arendelle boss, I'm like, I don't see how this is possible if you have all the pro codes on. That's crazy. My god, ah. There's like 800 Heartless, it's just... There is no safe strat, you get hit. Oh, Goofy. Goofy killed him. Wow. It's like I'm fighting the Demon Tide, except in Kingdom Hearts 1. You retaliates every four hits, and there's nothing I can do about it. That's why you want the combo finisher to happen. At... I think eventually I got to the point where I'm just like, nah, forget this, I'm not getting that fourth hit on him. I'm just doing a regular combo, then backing away. Mm. Slightly less damage, but way safer. This one says to take the hit and then cure after for the first phase. Alright, Goofy, I need your help. Goofy, I said I needed your help and you just killed yourself. Okay, well, that's game. <laughs> wow, that fight sucks. Owe me your power. this? What do you think, Goofy? <laughs> Yuck, I don't know. Uh, I don't think that's working. Dug on it. And I have to do the stupid preliminaries. I'm being dumb. 
No, I'm not doing the preliminaries. Oh, I know. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. It's probably very stupid, but... First, I'm gonna... <laughs> Let's just see how many of the puppies I've collected. I've collected at least half of them. Show me your power. Alright, how many puppies are left? There are... What's the unknown world? Oh. Oh, wait, no. I think to get all the puppies, I need the freaking yellow trinity. Which requires me to beat the preliminaries. Well! Oh, I think I got, I think I got uh, yellow trinity. I think I got that. Yeah, if you beat Hercules Cup, you got yellow trinity. Alright. Yeah, get Herc Shield, because I have that for Goofy. I'm trying, but the preliminaries are kicking my butt. Alright. I... Again, this goes against my moral code, but we're going to Atlantica. Mm -hmm. Why Atlantica? To get Fundara so I can beat uh, the preliminaries. Because uh, regular Funder ain't doing nothing. How did I beat it without that? What are you stuck on? Oh, you know how you beat it? It's because you were smart and did it before Ansem Riku, where uh, after uh, Ansem Riku, all the Heartless gets makes stronger. makes a lot more sense. Alright, well, I don't know where I am in Atlantica. I went to Ariel's Grotto, and she's like, Oh my gosh, I want to go to Human World. Like, you really don't, Ariel. Although, at least in this... <laughs> oh, that's right. Dolphin. This fight is so long and boring. That is correct. Well, it's an, actually, it's not boring, but it is long. Okay, now he finally moved to his next phase. <sighs> oh, and this oh, this also means if I can beat Atlantica, that's one less fight I have to do in the end of the world. Mm -hmm. Which would be nice. Oh no, is this one of those Oh no. Once he powers I forgot. Up. This game is stupid and you can't grab onto a dolphin if there are enemies on the screen because reasons. Yeah. Well, you 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 can if you uh, avoid the enemies like from seeing you. The enemy spawns, yeah. yeah. The problem is I play Atlantica so infrequently, I don't know where all the enemy spawns are. Yeah. It does suck that you have literally no defensive or evasive options in Atlanta. Yeah, no, it sucks. You can't block, you can't roll. It's... Yeah. Oh, yeah. And and the, the swimming controls are garbage. And the music is annoying. And all the characters suck. And the bosses aren't fun. <laughs> but on the plus side, there are no Dalmatians here. Wow, I got murdered. No puppies underwater, otherwise they would drown. Single hit, followed by a full ground Okay. Combo. Maybe this time I can avoid the enemy spawns. Though. Maybe this time I can avoid the enemy spawns. Okay. There are no Heartless around. Oh, darn. I, I summon you to the Shadow Realm. Despawn. No. Don't spawn more enemies. Now, witness true power. I would love to. But true power does not exist in Atlantica. Enemies around, come on. There are no enemies. Doggone it! There were no enemies around. Okay, I'm getting some damage on him. Come on. Come on. 
It is annoying that you can't see how much. Yeah, not having scan sucks. That's honestly one of my least favorite parts about the level one Same. run. Oh, thanks, Donald. You can you have it in Kingdom Hearts too, right? Yeah, because that's one of the abilities you get just for clearing an enemy fight and not like, oh, you got to level thirty. Here's scan. Yeah. Yes, 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 grab on. Don't nope, sword grab on. Yes! There we go. Finally grabbed on the stupid dolphin. Welcome to Oblivion. Wow, wow. The camera angle is really, really bad. Yeah. Are you doing Ursula? No. Oh, I'm not even close to Ursula. I only just got to the sunken ship. Yeah, I did all the... I, I literally went to Atlantica, dipped in, took the torn page for Winnie the Pooh, and then dipped oh, out. I did Ursula 1, then I didn't do finish Ursula 2. Oh, hey, shark. Oh, bye, shark. I messed up. I messed up. No, I'm messing up. Oh, wow. I got the crystal trident. Congratulations. I am not looking forward to uh, fighting Giga Ursula. We'll be honest, this fight isn't that hard. It's just long. It is very long. No, I can open up a shortcut. <laughs> you gotta love how you learn like the ability to swim faster at the end. No. Of Atlantica? Yeah. Deal. Oh boy, a Miffle Shard. What have I done to deserve oh, such riches? I almost died. Oh, chill. Can't fool me, yeah. This is the way. This is the way of the Mandalorian. This is the way. Yes. Yeah. There we go. Shortcut. And we get Oric Alka. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chill, 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 chill. I almost died. Oh. Yeah. Wow, we put the trident in. Oh no, King Trident destroyed the trident. King Trident Destroyer. Oh no, Ar Ariel's so sad about losing a trident she got literally five seconds ago that she makes a deal with the devil. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, you laugh, but that, that is what happens in the kingdom. Hearts world. <laughs> Pretty much. And movie Ariel is arguably even worse. Whoa, time to go. You know what? As much as I love Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts single handedly ruined the song under the sea for me. That's tough. Forever. <laughs> that is tough. Oh boy, I got Ariel in my party. Too bad I'm not going to use her. Let's go back to Spellbinder. Oh, this fight is so long. Yes, it is. Especially once you get to the final phase and he just spams, uh, Behold the power of darkness! I don't even think I've gotten there. There's a final phase? Oh. There are three phases. Oh, it's not so the, fir the first... Yeah, so the first phase he's just normal, then he, like, makes his arm glow, that's phase mm -hmm. two. And then phase three, um, he starts doing his desperation. Wow! There was literally nothing I could have possibly done to avoid that. Wow, this this guide says nothing about phase three. I guess it just assumes you beat him in phase two. Well, that's the same you same strategy for phase three as phase oh. two. Yeah, okay. 
the difference is for Face Free, he just constantly rises into the air, yells like, Behold the power of darkness, and then slashes the air repeatedly. Mm, it's annoying. Yeah. This is the time! Oh, I, oh, I have to kill the shark. See ya. Force. Kill. Wow, Atlantica combat sucks! <laughs> hey, Nintendo Addict, welcome. Yep, Fatty wanted me dead, what can we say? Literally, the only defensive option in Atlantica is to perfectly parry everything. No. Can't find it. No. You're missing my How hit. is he still not dead? There we go. Oh, okay, he's in phase three. No, no, I just do the same thing. Yep, but just you got to avoid his dark aura. Oh, that's what it is. Jump above the initial charge, glide above the rest of them, and try dodge rolling for the slam attack. That's what it says. How much HP does this stupid shark have? I died. Good I lord. I died dark aura immediately. That sucks. Well, let's equip Laney Luck then, I guess. Because Sebastian outright refuses to push a button if there's a shark out. This fight is so long. Wow. How long is he in phase three you... for? Until he's dead. How long does he take to die from phase three to death? So each phase is one bar of HP. Mm -hmm. All right. Apparently, I'm going to guess that gravity just don't work on the shark, so we're going to use fire spam instead and try to get damage storage first. Okay, cool. Damage storage. Let's get out of here. I think Kingdom Hearts is the hardest game series I've ever played. Yeah. It, it earns that title. Wow, well, Donald I, is the good. I'm telling you, Kingdom Hearts level 1 is... It makes Dark Souls look like a children's game. Uh, yeah. Well, I, I'm I'm like 90% sure that they did not playtest Kingdom Hearts 1 level yeah. 1. Yeah. Because the whole thing where it's like, oh, you have to use damage storage, which I think is a bug. Yeah, I don't even know. Just does... does yeah. Like, the damage storage with the summons, I am pretty sure, is an, a glitch that was not intended to be in the game. You just do so little damage. Okay, this shark is officially the worst common enemy in the game. What's the best difficulty to enjoy Kingdom Hearts 1? Proud? Proud. Or, or normal, honestly. Normal's still difficult. Yeah, I remember. I still I struggled with the answer to normal difficulty. Uh, honestly, even beginner mode is not no slouch in this game. Like the the early game is fairly simple, but the late game is like honestly not that much easier, if at all, compared to standard mode. Because I one of the achievements for the game is like clear the game without ever changing your equipment. Oh. And I'm like, oh, I'll just do beginner mode and do that and use the kingdom key the whole time. And final boss was tough, yeah. even on beginner mode. Oh my gosh, I finally killed the shark. He took like 50 fireballs, but he's dead. Yeah, he's been fire. All right. Yeah, fire. You gotta do what you gotta do. All right, Sebastian, there's no shark. You sure as cuss better push this button for me. Phase 1 is so easy. Thank you, Sebastian. Phase 1 and 2 if are only easy. you could do that while we had... They're just long. Honestly, Phase 3 really isn't different from Phase 2. It's just even longer. Be and once you know how to dodge his Dark Aura. Yeah, it's that Dark Aura. That got me. 
It, it takes a couple tries. Okay, now he's in phase two. That was fast. Cool. What's in here? Oh, Mega Eaver. Oh, that's nice. Alright, equipment time. Let's get Spellbinder on. I definitely still want Fire Raga. Cool. Alright, let's so try Ursula 1. Oh good, Donald's almost dead. That's that's wonderful. Actually, I probably should have put Ariel in the party because she can hear. I got him in the loop. Oh, I got him for a second. I gave up eventually trying to loop him. It was more trouble than it was worth. All right, hi Ursula. All right, step one. Flotsam and Jetsam have got to go. We're so Actually, no. Step no, one. Just fire the cauldron. Just uh, circle around when you're firing the cauldron because they'll try to hit you when you do it. And just do that, yeah. and then it'll blow everything up, and then just hit her and keep doing that. Yeah. Just mate. Oh, I, I hate how you keep, Sora keeps wanting to lock onto the Yeah, that's what I'm though. saying. That's why you want to circle around and then fire it. That way he doesn't lock onto them. Well, even after you blow up, like, he still wanted to lock onto the eels over her. Because I was playing that earlier today until I finally figured it out, and it wasn't too bad. Okay. Ah, Ur Ursula, get out of here. Let me try to loop I don't, him. I don't want you. Come on. I remember this fight being super duper annoying oh, even I on missed. casual. See ya. Oh, I thought you were doing a different move. Wait, I didn't even hit you. Okay, that's dumb. See ya. Can I just walk around all of his attacks? Do I even need to dodge her? I don't need to. I can just literally walk in a circle and he can't touch me. Uh oh. Did I take too long with the cauldron? Oh yeah, I did. There we go. No, I got hit. Oh. Chill. Okay. Come on. Stop with him. Just beat up the Come on, Goofy. So when he's saying welcome to Oblivion, you can hit him a few times. Yeah, oh yeah, when he's charging up. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay. I will absolutely use an Ether for this fight. I have no problem with that. Donald, thank you. Alrighty, what's your favorite food of all time? What is my favorite food of all time? Oh, well, I mean, the best meal I've had was uh, Julia Child's Boof Bourguignon. What is that? She's like slow, slow braised beef. And, and pearl onions and bacon in like a red wine sauce cooked all day. It sounds it's, so complex and fancy. It, it is. It takes about eight hours to make, but my gosh, it's like the best food you'll ever have. If you're talking like regular old food, I mean, like, you can't really go wrong with pizza or chicken True. tenders. True. I'm gonna die. Heal. I don't, also, I'm a big fan of like burritos. Yeah. No beans in the food. Not a fan of beans. Ow, no, Ursula, no. Ursula, no. How about I, you? I, I assume it's not granola bars. Okay. Mm. Oh, I hope the ethers are all I need. Welcome, okay. Oblivion. Sora, stop! Are you kidding me? Oh, no, the no, 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 stop, stop. It's not the best. No, it's not. Okay, Ursula's gotta be fair. I can dodge that. Right? Oh, I wonder if Ursula is also stronger due to being after Ansem. I sure hope not, but I bet she is. So magic doesn't affect them at all. Huh? Correct. Crazy. You can try shooting magic at him, and he'll just be a foolish boy and like launch it back at you. Well, I won't do that. Well, uh oh. I'm dumb. 
Oh. No, I died. Duh. This should help. I am. I do not want to use elixirs for this fight. Oh. I really don't want to use elixirs for this fight. I'm having to use it for this one. Well, that's a fight that's worthy of elixirs. Yeah, Ursula is not. I heard you're supposed to on Ursula 2. Well, Ursula 2? If Ursula actually d is stronger and has more HP as a result of me beating Ansem 2, I'm kind of screwed. Because Ur Ursula 2 is going to take I hours. Because the like, there's no I defensive the options. I thought, I thought it was like, the hard list. She's cheating. Is he using elixirs as well? No, he's not even letting me hit him before he does his DP in phase two. More like his TP. Because he stinks. Alright, okay. Okay, these stupid eels, my gosh. They they literally are stun locking me. You die, bro. The eels literally stun locked me. Okay, he's in. Wait, no, he's still okay. Okay, yes, he's in phase three. Oh, I need to learn how to dodge Ooh. dark aura. That's that's a good idea, Nintendo addict. You're right. I think it, my efers would get more bang for my buck if I used them a little earlier. Jump above the initial charge, collide over the rest of them, and try dodge rolling with a slam attack. Okay, yes, Goofy, uh, beat, up, beat, up, beat up, her up. With her. I can't see you. There you are. Oh, this is good. Okay. So you just spam this all the time? Pretty much. I don't know how to avoid the last... How do I avoid the last hit in that? Looks like I need to jump again. Ah, oh, this is so annoying. Wrestle is so difficult to lock onto, I don't like it. I'm not just be your own trash. Oh yes, Goofy came back to life. Goofy keep bashing her face. Yeah, I think I will use my E for earlier. Yes, because I will get more cats of magic this way. Alright, I got it. Just... There we go. Let's see, how do they do this? The speedrunners did it a different way that I did it. Let's see what they do. Let's see what Bizkit does. Oh, he, he's, he's the best. Is he? <laughs> One of them. I've seen his speedruns, he, he's crazy skilled at the Kingdom Hearts games. Is this uh, Bizkit 047 or Bloody Bizkit? They're no. both very good. Oh, four four seven. Let's, let's go four seven. Yeah, he's good. Where there's Ursula. Push her out of the lair. That would be great. If only there was no invisible wall. Is he keeping him in the first phase the whole time? It's great if, your par if my party members can get revived so Flotsam and Jetsam will just take care of them. But, no. No, you are not stun-locking me. 
He's doing one air combo, then a three air combo. Yes, yes, good. Thing. He's curing whenever he gets hit. Okay, I think I understand okay. the loop he got in there. Interesting. I bet she better die soon, because I am running out of magic. Yeah, um, the way he did it, he never entered his third phase. Really? Yeah, he locked him in his second. He locked him in his second phase. Oh wait! Oh! Oh my gosh! Ursula died from the cauldron blowing up in her oh, face. That's funny. That was great. I mean, it does damage to her, so it makes sense. <laughs> she must have had like one health yeah. left. That, oh, that's amazing. <laughs> oh yeah, I, better equip the uh, mermaid kick I'm ability. Try my newly equipped knowledge. All right, well let's let's go to the nightmare, Giga Ursula. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was oh. playing uh, earlier today. I didn't end up beating it. Mm, I'm not looking forward to this. At least now we kind of, sort of have an evasive option, though. We can swim fast. Come here, Riku. You thought. <laughs> if there's one word I would use to describe Riku, it would actually probably not be that, but... Wow. That's a little more precise okay. than it looks. Let's see. I need... I do not have the elixirs needed to do this in confidence. So here's what I will do. I will, I, again, go, goes against my moral code, but I'm putting Ariel in my party. Because I need healing. Alright, Ariel. No Thunder Potion. No Arrow Potion. No Spiral Wave. You only cure with your MP. That is all you get. And you're gonna like it. I don't think Xantasukin works underwater, but I'm going to try it out anyways. Also, ooh, Ariel! You know, you wouldn't mind giving up your ethers to somebody who needs them more now, would you? Alright, how many mega ethers? Only three. Hmm. Okay, well... Done. That strategy looks a little harder than... is a little harder than it looks. It is pretty tough. Like the way you have to delay your hits so you do a full three hit air combo and then fall to the ground right after. Uh, oh, nice. Nice job, Donald. You already wasted one of your MP. And we're not even at the boss. Yeah, that sounds good right now. Uh, nachos? Well, there's rarely a bad time for that. That's true. <laughs> Oh great, I have to do that every single time I replay Giga Ursula. That's that's gonna be fun. Alright. Yeah, so you can lock him in that uh -oh. second phase. That would be so satisfying to do. So this is gonna be a lot of uh, running away. I'm about to door dash it. Ah! I forgot she could do that. So early in the fight. Try to go behind her head. That's probably a not a bad idea. Yeah. I'm just doing long range fire I guess spamming. Yeah, I think that's not the best thing. But when she does the little thing where she says something about being beautiful or whatever and has thunder surrounding her, then you want to leave you know, for the most oh, part. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. She keeps trying to eat me, which is not Yeah, you nice. can just swing at her behind her head. Like, I, every time I go behind her head, it just forces me to, like, go back on to the front top of her, of her head and then go down. Because if you try to go around, the camera angle can be weird. 
All right, I'll, I'll try it. There you go. All right, you did it for a second. Mm -hmm. Yeah, every every time I go every time I go back behind her head, it forces me back. Yeah, to the they can't. They can't be really weird. Uh, yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. Shot a Ursula. Why can't I do that? Ursula, get ready for this. Me is ready for that. Her surprise peek at your face. Oh man, I don't know if that was Donald or Ariel who healed me, but that was clutch. Uh -oh. Help! Now I'm behind her head. That's good. Problem is, I keep getting hit by straight bolts of lightning. What hit me? It's like she turned her head, her nose bobbed through me, and it's just like, dead. That's tough. Yeah. Well, I, kn I knew I wasn't going to first try that, so. The Fundara would be pretty nice. Uh, oh, what the? Oh my gosh, I hate the physics in this fight. Yep, we're back. Oh my gosh, okay. One thing I hate, sometimes you push, like, circle or triangle and you go up or down, and sometimes it's like, oh, you want to dash? Cool. Yeah, that's annoying. Gosh, Ursula, you are so ugly. Her counter attack is so annoying. But yeah, if you can get behind her, you can stay there for a while, potentially. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Ouch. <sighs> Uh. Should I order a burrito? Boy, that sounds good. Kind of I yeah, I think that's a good idea. Give some substance while I fight. Or you could order an entire pizza. Yeah, but I don't. And there's no other options. Like I don't want to have to use my hands while I'm playing the game. Oh, that's and... good. What if you I don't think the noodles can carry themselves there. Noodles and company does too. Could get Chinese. What's your uh like if you get Chinese food, what's kinda of your go to? Uh well there's a Chinese place by me and they have like a meal special thing where I typically get orange chicken and then it comes with pork fried rice and egg roll. Nice. It all sounds delicious. It does sound pretty delicious. And they're pretty fast, so that might be the best option right now. Ah! Forgot about that attack! <laughs> See, I can get through phase one and two easy, no problem. But phase three, that dive attack is what's messing with me. And I can't exactly practice the, it. The, like, behold the power of darkness yes. attack? I wish I could make save states and just oh, start no. from right there. That would be cool. I should probably pay, I should pay more attention to what Ursula is saying, because she telegraphs what she's about to do with what voice clip she uses. That is true. She likes to let you know that you're very tasty a lot. Yep. If she eats yep. you. Okay, I didn't hear her yell this one. 
Okay, that time I did. How did that still hit me? I was miles away from her. That sounds unfortunate. I am amazed I didn't take damage from that. Well, she's definitely too oh, close to dying because she is constantly spamming this won't be pretty. Okay, is there nowhere safe from that attack? Because I'm literally as far away from her as I can possibly be, and it's still hitting me. Do I get Panda Express or Booty Bob? Whichever one is better. Okay, that time I avoided. If I can find them, it should be open. Okay. Get away, get away. Alright, I'm not going behind her head anymore unless she does that attack. Oh, come on! Nothing hurt me! Oh, wait. You know what's annoying about oh. DoorDash? Half the time, they don't give me my drink. Oh, that's annoying. And I always have to refund That's their it. tip. <laughs> that's their tip. They... Yeah. They, dr they drink your drink. And that's unfortunate. Get ready for this! What's your favorite soft drink? Sprite. Mm, okay, yeah. It's one of the very few that one of the very few that I actually bother to get. Okay, Dr. Pepper. Well, he has a PhD, so that's pretty. He does have a PhD. That's true. I didn't see Sprite going to medical school. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Thank you, Ariel. Man, how long has it been since I last fit, fought Giga Ursula? I have no idea. It might have been when I Let's Played this for my channel. Back then I wasn't even playing Final Mix, I was playing the original PS2 version. <laughs> Should I get Dr. Pepper or Sweet Tea? Hmm. Um, Dr. Pepper. Perhaps that is the way. Donald, you're the... Donald, you're the goat. Alright, all this stuff I can eat with a fork, so... Behold, the power of burrito bolts. Well, I got Asian food from Pan Express. Ah, that's right. Behold the power of General So. Man, my party members are coming in clutch with the heels. I changed my card. From my gift card to my regular card. Oh, yes. Please blurt out your debit card pin for everybody here. It is 511199431244159987. Alright. You heard it here first, Twitch. The expiration date is 1027. And what's the free digit uh, security code? The free code digit the code is 157. Cool. There you go. Enjoy buying whatever you want. <laughs> now I can get a PS5. Yep. 
And because Fly likes the PS5, it won't seem suspicious on his purchase. Wouldn't that be crazy if I inadvertently listed somebody's actual card number? <laughs> well, you did. You listed yours. That'd be crazy. <laughs> With the security code and everything, at that point, it was meant to be. Again. Oh. Darn it, if she... If she tries to eat you... And you're right there, and you can't do anything. Is that the only attack she's doing now? She, yeah, it's literally the only attack she's doing now. Here we go. Break your stop it. Stop being mean, Riku. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Ariel. I'm playing so bad right now. Oh, so am I. Kill. Kill, bruh. Bruh. Uh-oh. Okay, she's gotta be close to death, right? Sometimes the voice clip doesn't come out for her, like, giga attack. That's not so I just, I literally have to read her lips. But this won't be pretty. Okay, yes, keep doing this attack, Ursula. Oh, look. I guess there are too many other sound effects playing at once to actually play her. There, <laughs> this won't be. Oh, I got stuck in the corner. That's ugly. Let's try again. Do you want a skidoo? Oh. It's a skidoo. Boys clues. Ah, that sounds familiar. Look, it's a letter from our friends. Someone sent a letter. Someone sent a letter. So I've been told. Riku, you suck. Okay. So how long does this last phase of Ursula's last? Because she's just spamming her desperation move. Forever. It lasts forever. Ba basically. She usually likes to do this won't be pretty three times in a row. Sometimes four if she's feeling particularly. Does a ground three hit combo do more than an air three hit combo? I think it 
think slightly, but the air combo's faster. I, I did ground combos for Ants and Riku. Eel. I love eel. <laughs> eel. Really. Have you ever had sushi? Not with the kind of raw fish. Uh, I ate it once and got sick, and but I ate like bad sushi, so I never ate it again. But I've been wanting to try good sushi. Might have to go to Japan for that. I mean, you can get good sushi here, just not from like just some store. Not Show me your power. The the whole concept of like raw meat, even if it's safe to consume, kind of freaks me out. Oh my gosh, I beat Giga Ursula. How do you eat your steak? Um, I don't. I'm not really picky as long as it's hot all the way through. I'm good. I don't care how red it is as long as it's not yeah. cold in the middle. Yeah, it's, it's supposed to be medium well. I, if I'm at a restaurant, I usually order medium yeah. well. Because no, generally, in my well. experience... Uh, medium rare, I mean. Oh, no, I do medium well. That's like what cooks uh, recommend, medium medium rare. Medium rare, yeah. I mean, if if I got a medium rare steak, I would not be upset. It's not bad. But I, it's pretty good. In my, in my experience, they very rarely, like, when I order something my steak done to a certain level, they generally tend to cook it less than what I requested, rather than more. It just depends. So if I, or if I order the medium well, it's more likely to be closer to medium than closer to low. Yeah. Level. I was about to be, why can't I do this white trinity? It's because Ariel's here. That's fine. They, that white trinity don't have anything. Oh, yay. We can get the crab claw keyblade, which sucks. But it looks pretty. Do, do, do. Yay! Ugh, take that, Ariel. All right, I have like I think zero efers left, but that's okay. We can buy more. Ow, bro. Or better yet, we can go to Rabbit's Garden and get elixirs. I'm sure he won't mind. I wish I could learn Hello, that loop. Poop bear. I go with the slower but safer strat. Alright. Rabbit's pumpkin patch. Let's see what we got. I have more than enough mega elixirs, but I, I'm looking for regular elixirs. I messed up. Also, hopefully, now that we have Fundara, the preliminaries will be doable. Does he still do that lunging attack in his third phase? I don't think he does. Though, like, here it comes! Um, he just says ha when he, he's like ha when he does it. He doesn't say anything. Oh, yeah! yeah. Oh, he does say here it comes. Never mind. He, it's, 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 sometimes he does here it comes. I'm playing really sloppy right now. That's, yeah, I, that's one of those fights that I, I, I do think it is very consistent once, once you can get the strategy down, but. It's long. It's very long. 
Rabbit, I harvested all your vegetables for you. <laughs> and stole any potions that were under them. I tried it. Honestly, if I could even get one more elixir, that would be nice. Because then I could use free and still have five left for the last world. Isn't it crazy that Riku's a Keyblade <gasps> Master and Sora's not, even though Riku literally fell to the darkness? <laughs> but then he came back. It's because Yen said hates Sora. Yeah. But technically, Xehanort said Sora was a master by the end. Yeah, true. You're actually so. right. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, I still think it was dumb that Yen Sid failed Sora in Dream Drop Distance. Yeah. But honestly, that was probably one of the pl plot points that I had the least problems with in yeah. Dream Drop Distance. <laughs> Dream Drop Distance was one of those games where I'm like, I don't really care for the story. It's totally un, un understandable, so I'm just gonna enjoy the gameplay. My Panda Express is on the way. Nice. Alright, I've gotten a lot of potions from Rabbit, but no elixirs. Rabbit, I know you're growing elixirs in here. There we go! <laughs> For Artie's first stream of 2022, we pick cabbages in real time. Wow. Exciting. Oh my gosh, another elixir. Thank you, rabbit. Uh, this fight is so long. I'm, I'm at this point, I'm wondering what's going to end up being harder, the final boss or the World of Chaos fights. I have no idea. Because I've heard World of Chaos is the toughest, but the, I think the final boss I'm just going to die to so final many Final boss is going to be crazy. The final boss has like 10 forms, that's part of it. Yeah, that's why it's crazy. Oh, oh and I still... I just... I'm not trying to die. <laughs> All right, well, I think I've robbed Rabbit of his hard-earned goods for long enough. Let's go to Traverse Town and buy some more Efrus. How are you not in Phase 3? What? All right, Traverse Town. I have no idea how much money I have. Probably not much, so... Oh no! I'm dead. I have to sell some stuff. No, I'm not. Oh no! I'm not dead. I can only see the far left side of your screen. Nice. Alright, I have... Ooh! Actually, I have a decent amount of money. There we go. Got some more efers. Oh, dog on it. Get these stupid potions out of here. I'm being dumb. Oh, wait! What am I doing? For the preliminaries, wow. I'm just gonna use Zantasukin. Okay, now he's finally in phase three. Oh. Trying to get killed by Dark Aura. What is he able to be hit in phase three? I again for phase three I kind of waited for him to do that. Here it comes! Okay, the same thing. Which he does do very occasionally. Yeah. Okay. Oh boy. There we go. And if you want, you can try to get a risky hit or two, and I do mean one hit or two, not yeah. a combo, after he finishes Dark Aura, but I highly would... Wow, is that what That's oh, very, very Aura risky. Actually, no, you can't do that for Dark Aura. At least not with the consistent dodge strategy. Alright, Phil. Oh, wait. No. No. 
before before we start in the preliminaries. Yeah, we want Fundara. I died. Uh, I keep dying to the last hit he does in Dark Aura, where he like blows up the ground. What I found, um, I don't know where you are. Whenever he does Dark Aura, I move towards the left side of the arena where you entered it from. Like, in the arena where there's the hole in the wall. And then using that, I would just repeatedly glide into it over and over, and over again. And that's, that seemed to be a safe place from his endgame blasts. Wow, that didn't last long. Yeah, because what he does is he slams the ground, and I can't dodge it whether no matter what. And then he just hits me immediately after, and I just die. I dodge it the first time, but most times that doesn't happen. Yeah, yeah, so when he, start, when he like charges up and starts doing it, I move towards that entrance, like jump glide to avoid his first pass, jump glide again to avoid the second pass, jump glide again to avoid the blast, then I immediately fall to the ground and dodge roll as soon as possible to avoid his next attack. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, he guarded my Zantasuke. It's just that third phase, yeah. It's just that specifically that DP. That's the only thing that's bothering me right now. Just the DP. Yeah. Or the DM. Yeah, DM. I'm just saying DP from Demon Slayer. Like defensive punish from fighting game. Ah, uh, yeah. Or a dragon Ooh. punch. Same thing. Yes. Why did I not use Zantasukin in this fight before? It's so good. That's the power of the Keyblade. But yeah, other than that DM, everything else is easy about this boss. It just takes a long time. Is my panda express here yet? Elias is approaching with my order. Ah, uh, shout outs to my man Elias. <laughs> shout outs to Elias. He better give you your Dr. Pepper. He better. I swear, 50% <laughs> of the time, DoorDash is not giving me over. Oh, I'd like to think Elias is different. He's got class. I, I hope so. I really do. And if not, the entire internet now knows his name. And what he did or did not do. See, for the most part... So you can be, you can be a hero or you can be a villain, Elias. That's how it works. For the most part, I can do a pretty good job of not cursing. I don't know if you noticed. Yeah. But I've only caught like one. Yeah, like occasionally, like oh, something will slip out. It, it's like instinctive. Yeah, but yeah. like if I yeah. try to, for the most part, it, it makes it. It'll make it easy to edit for the YouTube call. All right. I just turn on my Shows. mode, like when I'm <laughs> at my parents or something. I don't know. <laughs> Although, Parent one time yeah. I did drop the up bomb in front of my mom on accident. Like, <laughs> was she? Did she like have a particular reaction? No, or she was, just like, she oh, was fine because she was talking about her neighbors doing something wild, and I was like, "What the f?" Yeah. <laughs> was oh, Donald the man. Okay, uh, I hate this. I hate this! Hate is a strong word. You're right. I very much dislike this particular gameplay mechanic. Mm. Um, what hit me? Riku, win! Okay. Thunder. Okay, for that fight, I just, I gotta make sure I have damage storage, and I just gotta Fundaga everything. Riku! <laughs> Kairi win. Defense. Simba. <laughs> Deep freeze. Deep freeze. I love to eat freeze. Eat freeze. When you go into phase two, you, 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 you pencil pusher. Pencil pusher. Stop on it. Stop. Guarding my Zantasuke. Wow, that was very mean, Riku. That wasn't a very nice thing to do. 
to your friend. That I wasn't a right. very nice thing to do, Rabbit. Okay, give me a couple minutes. I'm gonna get my uh, my food. Your Panda Express. Yeah. Say hi to Elias. For I me. will. <laughs> Freak him out. <laughs> Wouldn't it be crazy if Elias was watching our stream? Cage 1 was not designed with level 1 being possible in mind. Remember that, folks. So everything that you see here tonight is stuff that the developers never really intended for you to do, but is still somehow possible. All right. Really could have gone for an early Santa suit. Yes, there's that. Xantus is gonna. Okay. Ha ha! I hate how they keep interrupting my Xantasukan right before it happens. I also hate how shadows are actually threatening for some reason. There we go. That killed a lot of them. There we go. Get that MP meter up. There we go. Okay. Now, we don't have damage storage, which is unfortunate, but we are going to Thundaga spam this crowd like the Dickens, because that is literally the only way we're going to be able to get through this. Donald, I could use some healing. Well, if Donald won't heal me, there is literally nothing I can do. I feel like Fundaga should be wrecking these guys a lot more than it is. How is it they always guard my Xantasugan every time? Okay, first round went all right. I would like to get for the first round without using very much MP. That would be really nice. That's true, the Sinisters. Okay. Darn it. If I can get an er if I could trigger an early Xantasukan in this fight, it would make it so much easier. Also, if the shadows weren't such colossal crud butts, that would also be great. Like, seriously, how are the shadows this freaking annoying? Actually, forget annoying. How are they this dangerous? Is this what it feels like to be an average person going up against the Heartless? 
Okay. I also don't want to use my Efers unless I absolutely have to, because if I use the Efer, I lose it. I don't get it back for dying. Alright, Goofy. Yes, if I have Goofy's help, that makes this fight easier. Alright, cool. Okay, this... This fight is just not fair on level 1 if you have beaten Ansem Riku. It's really not. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. This is delicious. Does Fundara do... Or does Fundara do anything against these guys? It really doesn't feel like it does. Probably because the levels are increased. Probably. It does interrupt them while they're casting spells, which is nice. Mm. Problem is, there's just so many of them, and they're constantly shooting at me. Alright, I gotta deal with the red nocturnes first, because they home in. <laughs> There's like 20 of these little spell guys. You can't deal with them all. I'm going to give it a couple more tries, and if not, I'm, I'm going hunting for puppies. Mm. Oh, there we go. Oh, I love triggering that Xantasugan and not having it interrupted. Yes. I'm watching the strat. How do they do yep, that? That'll help. He, Magic. He does like one hit and then he does a three hit air combo right after but the whole time he's like staying on him with the air combo for me i just go over his head yeah i i never did air combos for ansem riku it was too hard to hit oh yeah i also can't even remember how many fights are in the preliminaries the, the fights after this could be even worse What's your favorite game of all time? Ocarina of Time. Mm. It's one of the few games where I'm just like, that game is... I, I enjoy almost every part of it. Isn't the speedrunning for that game pretty popular? Oh, yeah. One of the biggest speed games of all time. That and Super Mario 64. Yeah. It's not quite that big, but it's... I love watching Super Mario 64 speedruns. Yeah, it, it's it's nuts what people do in that game. Did you ever play the Pokemon game? Mm, I, the only official Pokemon game that I actually played was X. Could not get into it, and like everybody I've talked to afterwards, where I was like, I X was like the worst one. You picked it was so bad. Yeah, at the time. You should play the other the generations ones. one through five were the best ones, and the yeah. fifth generation was like the peak of the series, and then it kind of went downhill. Mm -hmm. Generation Generation six made it too Thunder. easy. I just want to point out, I spammed, I think, eight Fundaras against those tiny little elemental enemies, and it did not kill any of them. <laughs> Alright. New plan. That's crazy. We're not, we're not using Fundara, we're using Blizzara. 
I know that there are blizzard enemies, but the blizzard ones aren't that bad. It's the fire ones that are killing me. Blizzard does more damage? Uh, blizzard is going to do more damage against the fire oh, ones. Yeah. It's not going to damage the, the icy ones, but the icy ones I can take out. The fire ones just, they shoot the homing shots that you just cannot yeah. avoid. So I got to kill them really fast. <laughs> I'm off Asian food. I do two, I just, it doesn't fill me up enough. Uh -huh. I, like, if I eat Asian food, I'm like, that was delicious, but then, like, after an hour, I'm hungry again. Most Asian places give you a lot of food. I'm... Oh, okay. Well, if I get, like, Chinese food, I'll be full at the end of it, but again, after a couple of hours, I'm hungry again. Wow, I died to the first wave. That's embarrassing. Um, I think I've heard of that, uh, Proxima, but I have not experienced it at all. But I think I've heard it in passing, about it that in passing. Space World Beta. Well, if it's Ocarina of Time related, I, I'm probably interested. Oh, what does it do those combos so close to the ground like that? Maybe he's just doing it. Donald, Donald, please don't shoot Blizzard at the Blizzard enemies. Sincerely, everybody with a brain. He doesn't know any better. Well, I will teach him better. I want to know when these soldiers got so tough. You know, it'd be crazy if you could plug in like a second and third controller and control Donald and Goofy. Oh man, that would be awesome. Unless you're playing as Donald and Goofy. <laughs> then Donald would always heal you. No, he wouldn't. Then he'd be like, I'm healing myself <laughs> all the time. <laughs> For all the flack that Donald gets for being a bad healer, he has saved my butt a ton this run already. I think we're gonna get some new Kingdom Hearts news this year. Oh, yay. We'll get Kingdom Hearts 4 in 2038. Hopefully it's not that long this time. I don't think it will be. I think 2 and 3 was such a long wait because it was a whole new engine, but... I don't know. I don't right. think the wait won't be as long between 3 and 4, because between... One and two was what, 2002, and then two was 2005. It was three years. Yeah, it was not. There was only one spin off game in between those two. And King Mars 3 came out in what, 2019? So. Yeah, I think, I think it was three years between KH1 and KH2, and it was 13 years between KH2 yeah. and KH3. Which is fitting, but also. So hopefully it's. I wish it wasn't hopefully that. Hopefully it's another three years and we get it like in next year. Well, I guess technically. Yeah, hopefully we get an announcement this year and then it comes out like next year or something. <laughs> no! Ah! Why is it so easy for fans to interrupt your Xandasukans? I don't know. It's supposed to be like the ultimate combo finisher and it's just like, oh, Shadow touched you while you were charging up for it, so it didn't work. <laughs> Okay, Goofy. Goofy, I need your help. Bash these guys. Goofy, stop hovering in the air and bash them. Yes. Okay, this is looking very promising. We've got a high amount of MP. Both my party members are alive. We can deal with these stupid shadows. Nice one. Oh man, Goofy MVP. Goofy MVP. All right. What's your favorite Disney movie? Okay. Oh. That's tough cuz that changes a lot. Okay, well Blizzard didn't work any better. 
Uh, my favorite Disney movie kind of flip-flops between Aladdin and Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. Mm. So that, that might explain why I'm a big Pooh fan. Mm -hmm. mm. I also really like Hercules, Peter Pan, and both of the Fantasias. I like Hercules a lot. Hercules gets kind of a bad rap. A lot of people say it's very lackluster, no, it's good. but no, it's 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 epic mm -hmm. and hilarious. What more could you could you want? Yeah. Take like a movie. Yes. I don't want anybody to tell you otherwise. Mm -hmm. You know what? These, the super annoying thing is if I hadn't beaten Ansem Riku, these guys would be an absolute joke. Yeah. Are you s oh, yeah, I'm so sick of this. I am so sick of this. I am so sick of this. Just kill me. Just freaking kill me. Just end it. I feel like this game has a lot to memorize if you're trying to speedrun it. Oh, yeah. No, forget this. We're going. We're gonna find some puppies. <laughs> all right. Oh no, we gotta come. All right. We have twelve still in Neverland. Okay. That will be our first <laughs> stop. There are four puppy chests to find in Neverland. Did you ever play Freddy Fish? Yes, love those games. If there was a humongous entertainment game, I, I probably played it. Mm -hmm. Except for that, um, like the last one they made before they got bought out by Atari was like the moon base commander. It was a completely different game mm. from what they've made previously. It's like a, a real-time strategy game, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh wait, this room sucks. There's no ceiling, so <laughs> like, or there's there's a very low ceiling, yeah. so you can't do the jump the jump magic casts. Nope. I just got hope for a bunch of Zantasukits. <laughs> Honey walnut shrimp is pretty good. Honey walnut shrimp? Uh -huh. Interesting. What? There was nothing there! All the enemies were on the opposite side. I call bull. Who's your favorite superhero? Um, I'm gonna go with Spider-Man. Mm. Yeah, Spider Followed closely by Larry Boy. My who? <laughs> did, did, uh, are you familiar with VeggieTales at all? Uh, uh, That's the superhero from uh, VeggieTales. I remember VeggieTales. Come on. I used to watch that all the Santa time. Santa them. Back when it was good. Mm -hmm. Before Netflix got them. <laughs> Yeah, come on. Okay, yes. Very good. Very good. Oh wow, a power gem. Mine was always Iron Man, but I'm like oh. in a Spider-Man oh. phase now because the movie and I got the game. Spider-Man is just very consistent. Yeah. He's like the most popular superhero. And for good reason. All right. This. He's like the fan. He's like sucks. the fan favorite. Well, no, that's not true. Neverland's actually a great world. This game sucks if you're at level one. Uh -huh. Oh no, not the jet balloon. You would think I'd be able to do this strategy against Ansem Riku after watching it enough, but... Not always. 
Seeing is one thing, but actually doing is another. That is true. Alright, there's our first set of puppies. What happens if you get all the puppies? Uh, you get the complete gummy set, as well as a roga, or an arrow upgrade. Mm. I actually do think it is worth it for Aroga, because Aroga is very good. Doesn't it like half your damage? So Arrow is like basically cuts damage in half. Aurora cuts damage in half and damages enemies that touch mm. you. And then Aroga does all of that plus reflects enemy projectiles back at them. Mm. So it's very useful for certain situations. Yeah. There we are. There's the crow's nest. Okay, or a calcum. Can always sell that. Alright. It took him like two minutes to do this fight. Are you fighting him while eating or are you taking an eating break? I'm watching um, the strat. Oh, speed. I'm watching yeah. the strat and I'm watching him. Okay. I'm almost done with my food. If I could actually pull off this strat. Oh my gosh, I'm being stupid. I have summons. It would be worth it if I could actually pull off the strat. What am I doing? I have summons. Why am I going through all of this pain and turmoil? Dumbo, destroy everything. <laughs> oh, nice Nintendo addict. That's what's what. That's what it's really all about: watching Artie while eating slash making. Mm -hmm. Okay, Dumbo, I kind of expected you to have a little more attack power than this. With, I'm, I am using damage storage, so... Isn't Hercules, like, the strongest Disney character? Uh, probably. <laughs> I mean, you could argue Zeus is stronger, but... Hey, Hercules had to save Zeus later on. So. Yep. Also, I did not mean to summon Genie, but gotcha. he'll do. Let's summon Simba, who should make pretty quick work of these enemies. Oh, if only we could use summons in the preliminaries. That would be really nice. Roar. If only summons work on me. Alright, what's my fortune cookie say? One time I opened a fortune cookie and it didn't have a fortune. Oh, that's an ominous fortune. It says, unforeseen financial resources will soon become available. Oh my gosh, why is this so annoying? How many waves of enemies are in freaking Captain Hook's cabin anyways? Maybe I should play the lottery so this comes true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, the numbers that it gives you are the ones that are going to win, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't see any reason why you shouldn't. Mm, there's no lucky numbers on this. 
Uh oh. I think that's telling you to not use to not play the lottery then. Hi Riku, I bought this strategy. Let's see if I can do something. How are they still not dead? How are they freaking still not dead? Because you're level 1 and they're like level, what, 50 or something? Like 70, I don't oh. know. Okay. We're breaking out the stop breath. Because I, I'm done with this. Am I the only person who always gets hiccups when I drink like a soft drink? I cannot say I do that frequently. Wow, Donald and Goofy just died instantly. Watch this stupid chest not even have the puppies in it. I just want to get damage storage, please. Oh, wait, wait. What would happen with damage storage Xantasukin? Would that just make all magic one hit kill? Does it even work like that? Oh, wait. Damage storage Simba doesn't even matter. I can... <laughs> hey, here's the thing about the Happy Lucky Lottery Nintendo Addict. At least you get a mushroom every day. So that alone makes it worth it. I... Wow. Yeah, I'm 99% sure they did not even remotely play test level 1 Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, that is unfortunate. I'm pretty sure they literally just like slapped on the ability and be like, let's just add a couple things to make it slightly less annoying. And then did nothing. <laughs> yeah. This, this is one of those level 1 runs I probably will never do again. Yeah, this one is... I've heard that a lot for the first game. How... how do you even do this? You just gotta believe. Faith and trust. Thank you, DoorDash, for that delicious meal. So help me if the stop wears off during this stupid summon cutscene. Die! Okay. There we go. There we go. All it took was stop. If this treasure... This treasure chest does not even have puppies in it, is it? Oh no, it did. Okay. All right, two more puppy chests remain. It's the today's the second. Hey, I can't. Remember. Yeah, it is. Oh, I didn't get the chest in here. Oh boy, a Proterra chain. I suppose I could try fighting the Phantom to get Stopka, but I really don't want to. Nope, I'm not doing Venomies anymore. I'm using Simba. Because he's effectively the only way to deal with enemies on level, 90, er, level 1 run. Pretty much. Do the summons, like, not have a level? Well, summon... Yeah, summons, their strength is not tied to your level, but purely to your max MP. Ah, interesting. 
Same with same with all of your magic. That's why MP is so important in a level 1 run, because yeah. it's the only way, really, of dealing damage. Okay, Meteor didn't sense. need that. Alright, Riku. Time for you to die. I also never touched the save point at the very beginning of this world. There we go. Courage! The courage to summon Simba to fight your battles for you. It's a very important one. Stop did nothing. That sucks. I can't see because the camera's so bad. I would. Well, I can't remember how it went, so I'll, I'll just shut my mouth. I was gonna say like maybe you shouldn't walk onto him, but I don't remember what I did. Now then, it's even worse. Gummy shit part that I'm not going to use. Puppies? Puppies! Alright. I believe we still have one more chest in this world. Yes. We have one more here. And it might be in the yellow trinity chest. I got a full combo on him and he's charging up. What else to really do other than try more Olympus? It's like I could do Olympus, I could do the Phantom, or I can go to Endo. I could probably do two full combos on him when he's charging up, if I do it, like, at the very beginning. When he's changing from one phase to another? Yeah. Well, no, in the same phase when he's charging up his arm or whatever <clears throat> in phase two. I'm... I'm gonna try maybe using Stopra for that dumb... fight. Oh, that's dumb. That's a little dumb. I feel like this fight hurts my eyes. <sighs> oh man, my computer is... <laughs> has your stream at a very low resolution. Uh. <laughs> I th it's like 160p. <laughs> Discord does that sometimes. And like, I think maybe five frames a second. That's terrible. Granted, I can only see like a tiny part of it, and I'm not really watching it because I have to focus on the preliminaries. But still, that sucks. Come on. Oh. Well, I am glad I beat Kurt Ziza, because Santa Sukin is nice in niche situations. I jumped, I meant to swing, I'm dumb. Oh, nice. Yes, Goofy, stay alive. 
Wait, I looped him with ground combos. What the? Oops, that's like wow. Uh, um, no, that's fine. No, I, I grew. I looped him with ground combos like three or four times. Oh, that's really yeah, cool. That's, only he was like in the corner of the stage and he was getting looped. That's pretty boss. Okay, how did a shadow guard Zantasukin? They don't even have a guard. There, that's what I'm looking for. Now, witness true power. Just looking to take out a whole line. Okay. Donald still has some MP, and we're gonna stop these. Fruit Loops. Yes, we're gonna stop the Fruit Loops. Uh. Here it is. Man, if those stupid red nocturnes get on a cycle, if they just take turns shooting oh, fire, I there is died. literally nothing you can do. I can't get around that DM. I even jumped over it too. Oh. Mm. I also feel like at 9.30 I'm going to have to go to End of the World if I want to finish <laughs> tonight. <laughs> I don't think even if you go to End of the World at 9.30, I don't even know if you'll finish it. Well, maybe you will. You're faster than I am. Well, I don't have to do it. Now that I've been Atlantica, it shouldn't take that long. It's mainly just getting through the first couple of invisible fights. The one invisible fight before Chernabog, Chernabog, World of Chaos, and the final boss. Wow, those guys killed me instantly. Wrong tube. My soda went down the wrong tubes. Ooh, that's not good. Let's see. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Some real weirdo signed up for the games. Oh my goodness. If I, if I give Donald and... No, because Donald and Goofy would absolutely just waste the Mega Evers before that round. I'm literally at the point, I'm wondering if this stupid one preliminary round is even possible right now. Or, like, if it's possible, but it's incredibly luck-based. I'm sure, like, it's possible if you play perfectly, but... If... Well, here, I... The, the red... So, I... That fight... I, I don't know if you know. I'm up against, like, seven red Nocturnes and seven blue Rhapsodies. Yeah. The red Nocturnes, if they just get into a pattern of, like, each one of them takes turns shooting fire at you, there is absolutely nothing you can do to... Avoid yeah, dying, because the the fire homes in on you. That's annoying. So like, even mm. if you if you dodge roll the first one, the second one's just gonna hit you. Yeah, that sucks. And as soon as you heal yourself from one, the next one hits you, so you have to heal again. It's yeah, mm. it's a catch twenty two. It does. And as like even it. with even with my magic at the way it is, there's no way of killing them all. Unless I think if you, maybe if I had absolute maximum magic at that point, the getting to that point is gonna be almost impossible. You know, the beginning of this fight is a good time to try and practice strategies. Of what will work and what won't work. I don't understand how they do that one hit into... I feel like the range on this Keyblade is super short, still. On the Spellbinder? Yeah. I mean, it's not as long as, like, Metal Chocobo, but it's decent length for Keyblades. Yeah. Alright, Sinisters. If I could get an early Xantasukin against, like, all of those shadows, that would be so good. Yeah, it is safer to just or go maybe... for the ground combos. Don't you have like a lot of health in normal mode? Like a lot, a lot? 
You know what? I'm I'm just gonna stall this out until Goofy comes back. Cause I am at full magic, full HP at the second phase, right before that dumb fight. Mm. So Right, worth it. Yeah, so I'm just gonna play it safe, wait for Goofy to come back so he can help take these you out. Have a lot of magic. And then Yeah, I know, and I'm I'm pretty sure even if I use all this magic spamming thunder, it still won't kill them. How do you have all that magic? Um, I have, so I get two just as base. I got one for picking the staff at the beginning. I have two from Spellbinder, two from the Royal Crown, and one from the Ray of Light. Oh, I don't have nearly that much magic. I think you have the same amount of magic. I don't have the orange bar, goofy. I just have the blue bar. Oh, well, the orange bar I built up from just doing physical oh. attacks. Ah, oh, okay, that makes sense. Yes, okay. Full magic, full HP for this stupid hot and cold fight. Yeah, you got it. We're gonna Thunder spam we're gonna Fundara spam, and if this doesn't kill, then Fundara is the worst pain ever. This should help. Yep, Fundara spammed everything. This they still didn't kill them. Okay, but I killed one of the red rat red nocturnes. He's gotta have more openings than just that. Spam. Oh wait, I killed. I think I killed some of them. I tried to be dumb. This should help. Come on. Okay. Donald and Goopy love wasting their magic. Well, I guess they're not in this I was gonna say they like wasting it before the fight, but they're not in it, so it's fine. Yes, they do love wasting their magic. It's what they do best. Okay. Oh my. Okay. I got rid of all those red nocturnes. All right, good. You know anim this you fight should be anime? doable now. Um, every time I've tried watching anime, I can't get into it. I, I, all the anime I've seen have been like the kind of screamy anime. I'll say. I'm surprised because don't you play Clana? There's an anime for that. I, I play visual novels, yeah. yeah but there's, I don't. I haven't gotten into anime. There's an anime for Clanhead. Yeah, I'd ra I'd just rather play the visual oh, novel okay, gotcha. than watch the anime. Okay, well I beat that stupid fight. The problem is if I lose, I have to do it again. Oh no. Okay, well now I know. Red Nocturnes are the number one kill priority, and it's not even close. I've also learned Thunder is not worth it. Save all of your magic for Oh, he lunged at me. That sucks. I'm trying new stuff. I should just... I'm just trying to see if he has any other openings besides after that lunge attack. Right. Just to make it go faster. It sucks because I take so long to get to the third phase just to die to his DM. I know. I was just trying to see if there's, like... Oh! oh yeah! That's Xanthasukin. Mm. I just wiped out half the enemies with it. Nice. Is there anything that's more broken than Mega Flare in Chain of Memories? Because that was, just, like, really broken. Uh, oh, in Re-Chain yeah. of Memories. It's, it's pretty good. Um, I would say... Thunder Surge from Birth by Sleep and the Balloon Spells from Dream Drop Surge Distance was, are some of the most yeah, broken Yeah, Balloon bits. was pretty good. No, are we on Cloud think, now? Are we on Cloud now? was good, but I uh -oh, don't think it was okay. on the level of Balloon and the Mega Flare. Thunder Surge, I guess... The thing about Thunder Surge is, like, it's never a bad... There's never a bad time for Thunder Surge, because yeah. there's nothing in the game that has defense from yeah. it. Hmm, I don't know. I'll still give it to Mega Flare over Balloon. 
Even though Butler and Rose are really good. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, thank you all for hopping instead of actually attacking. I really appreciate that. about Blue Rhapsodies is they don't seem to really be able to hit you if you're in the air. Oh, I found a looping strategy for his first phase. Oh, nice. Please tell me I'm on cloud. Please tell me I'm on cloud. This is the sixth round. I think it's cloud. I messed up. I think I, I by doing it backwards, it works for me. Oh, I could have hit him there. Whoops. Oh no. Oh no. Stop it. Oh no. I almost died. I don't like this. Stop. There we go. Knock him away. No. No. Yeah, I found. Okay. Kind of works. Welcome, Oblivion. Oh no. Ooh, I hate this. I hate this. I really hate this. Why am I not on cloud yet? No! Oh no! Gosh! Doggone it! I didn't even get hit by anything. That's bull. Fire guys are missing All right, you no, up. I'm, I'm not doing that anymore. That is, I'm not doing that it's anymore. Tough. I would literally rather do the entire level one run over again just to do that at a lower enemy level than have to do that again. Those, those red, the red nocturnes are just not fair. They can just hit you from anywhere, and there's nothing you can do about it. All right, well, let's. Is there is there a litter is there anything else that I can do? I Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try the Phantom. We're gonna have to buy some ethers first. And then after that we go into end of the world, I think. Who's the Phantom? Who's the Phantom? Uh the Grim Reaper guy you can fight at the clock tower, who gives you stopga. Oh, I don't know how I didn't get hit. All right, we're gonna have to sell some stuff. That's fine. I'm not doing synthesis, so we can sell those. All right. Actually, you know what, at this point we may as well just... May as well sell the Orc Alchems as well. Oh. I'm not sure if Evers will be sufficient for the what? Phantom fight, because we're going to be doing such little damage to him, but... I shouldn't have got hit from that. No! I need Aether. Alexer. 
Alright. I'm not gonna spend too long on the Phantom, but I'm gonna at least try him once. I thought there were only six rounds of the preliminaries. I guess there's more. But I, I am not doing that again. Alright. Don will get out of the party. We're putting Peter Pan in, because he's better. Oh my gosh, Peter Pan, I never took your efers. Alright, well, I have some. Oh, yeah, there's time for space, two full so combos. When he charges up, and if you do two full ones after the third hit of the second one, you cancel off with his first attack. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, one more thing. Peter Pan. Okay, yeah. In we're, the world. we're unequipping. I just got cheated. All of these. Alright. Unequip all of that from Peter Pan, so he's not using any MP. And now. Hey, Tinkerbell. Okay, he's doing it. Phase three. No! No way, I don't die. All Please right. go. Woo, I can't see him. It, it took my lock off him. That's so weird. I don't want to open my heart to darkness. I'm dead. The nice thing is the Phantom is very easy to avoid his attacks. Nice one, Peter. This guy thus far. Dead. Oh, what's that? Okay, I found a way to consistently avoid this thing. Oh, wow. He actually killed me. I can't believe it. <laughs> well, again, the problem is I can't tell how close we were to beating him, but we didn't lose any items, what? so... He Let's, try Let's try it again. Oh, did he break... Did he do something he's not supposed yeah. to do? Uh. Okay, I messed up. I messed up. Stop. Should be fine, I hope. No! Stop. He's cheating. Oh, great. Neither of my party members are alive. Thank you for the E for Peter Pan. Ouch. That was dumb of me. No, I dodged roll into his head. Fire! Here! 
I can't find out where to hit him during that third phase. He's like invincible the whole time. Yeah. He literally has like... Normally I hit him after the slam attack, but when he's doing it in the third phase, his slam attack has like shockwaves at the end of it, so I can't hit him. Yeah. I was dodging his DM consistently enough, even though I didn't obey the same laws, because I went in all three corners, and I would evade them, but sometimes it would still hit me. But... That's annoying. Like, I, I don't know when when is he available to be hit. He's always, like, not available to be hit. Like, this fight is really easy until that third phase. He's just, just like, invincible. Like yeah. That's crazy. All right, well, the Phantom is going pretty well this far. I don't, again, I have no idea how much damage I've dealt him, so I have no close how, how, no idea how close I am to beating him. I canceled out with that. That's dumb. Doesn't it make more sense to equip a key light with high physical strain? Because magic doesn't really matter against him. Um, well, you need the MP for healing. Yeah, but you get the MP you need by swinging at him with your combos. I truly don't think it's really going to make any difference. Just because of the way the level 1 stats work. Yeah, maybe. Thunder! Thunder! to figure him out. He's pretty simple. It's just... See ya. Phase two. Here. Thunder. How am I supposed to hit you when you do shock Here. waves? I wish I knew how close I was to killing him. <laughs>
Man, I thought this guy was a long fight. <laughs> Normally. Dead. Thank Run you, Okay, now he's in phase three. Oh my goodness, this fight. Still not as bad as, well, still not as frustrating as Pot Centipede, I would say. This fight isn't hard, it's just the... It's just I don't know how to hit him in the third phase, that's all. Handsome Miku phase three. This guy has a lot of health. I'm on the last legs here. No items left. The doom counter is ticking down. And some Riku. Level one. Look at these people beating him with no damage. Sorry, Goofy, but I care more about 2 MP than I do about your entire soul. At least at this point. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I feel like it's easier to do the extremely low air combos on mouse and keyboard. I would not be surprised about that. Oh, so apparently people just walk around right. when he does that. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Here's the third phase. Oh, you're on a corner and you just spam jump. Uh, I do believe this is the end. Wow, you're still on that fight? I am still on the Phantom. And this is only my second attempt. Okay, nope, that's it. He wins. I literally just... I ran out of MP. Oh. If you don't have MP, you can't beat him. That's crazy. He puts a timer on your head? Yep. All right. Is well, that supposed to be like Marluxia or something. Um, there are theories that that's Marluxia's heartless. Because it puts a timer on you. And it has, it's like the heartless of death, and he's kind of the nobody of death. Mm. Well, if if you're still on the Ansem Riku fight, 
could I go to the end of the world? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, do do whatever you would like to do. I'm just... Okay, I'm just gonna, I kind of want to finish it up tonight. Yeah, I'm just going to try and uh, get as far as I can. Mm -hmm. Alright. It's no worries. Alright. Off to the end of it Ideally, all. Ideally, I beat it right now, because I've been watching a bunch of strategies on it. Yes, you never know when one fight's just gonna, like, take forever. It's just that third. Oh, yes. I just need to... It looks like this guy's able to just... You're able to just walk around. Yeah, it looks like you're able to just walk around, um... That slam attack was bothering me so much. I guess that's what I need to do. My issue, like, at first there was dodging the DM, but now it's not even that. It's just figuring out how to hit him. <laughs> Doing the DM now. Okay, we dodge that. Oh shit. Okay, cool. Okay, that's what I need to. Oh, we taking damage. Oh, you got me. Man, this... You know. I don't care what anyone says. This is the most epic gummy ship world. Mainly for the music. Alright, next stop. End of the world. Okay, I figured it out. I figured out how to hit him. Nice. Yes! Yep, I got it. Okay. Now I know how to do it. That's literally all I needed. Now it's just a matter of time. Alright. Now we'll do gravity and stop uh, as our shortcuts. And here we go. The end of the world. One of the prettiest uh, I could worlds, either. despite it being like <laughs> literally the end of the <laughs> Alright. Well, we have summons again, so. Do it. Yeah, I, f I think the only way to do the Phantom on level 1 is to give like all your party members max mega elixirs, and I, I don't have the ability to do that. Oh, whoa! Heal. Stuff in this world is not killing me in two hits. Nice. I need the angles and I'm not getting them. Get he- oh my god, I hate Nice this. job, Simba! Oh, this game and its camera trapped me in a corner. Oh my god. I know how to beat him. That's so dumb. That's 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 honestly like the worst part. If you like, you're like, I know I can do this. It's just a matter. This circle of... literally knocked me into a corner, and I couldn't. I tried to move out of the corner, but it made me run into the corner, and then he hit me. Like he literally corner trapped me. Yuck. That's terrible. Nice to see Simba's still very useful in the last world. Simbuk 2. Ah, uh, this time Simba, I won't have to You use. have forgotten who you are. This is time I won't have to use it. to use stop. Simba just wrecks the angel stars. And they can't attack fast enough to avoid it. And I believe the last fight is just against a, uh, an arch behemoth.
Here we go. Genie time. I am worried about the <laughs> the end of this world. Whoa! I didn't know he could do that. Do, 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 do. That's stupid. Maybe gravity spam would be better. It is nice how most of End of the World's fights are pretty optional. Ow! Oh, I hit it when I get hit while I'm healing. You just do it the long and slow way, even though I want to find faster ways. How much time will the fast way save you, though, if you keep dying trying to do it? Ow! Ow! What the heck? Why is this behemoth so much tougher than all the other behemoths? Alright, forget damage storage genie, we're just doing gravity spam. How long have I been doing this fight? Like two hours? Um three hours? About three hours, That's yeah. That's crazy. And no less than that, I think. Because you also Um actually have you been literally doing this fight the entire stream? Yes. Yeah, okay, yeah, then about three hours. It's probably been like two and a half. Because I had to like leave from Atlantica and find it. He's not even hard. How? How does it always just know where you are? This is weird. I. I did not expect Art the Behemoth to be one of the difficult parts of the end of the world. <sighs> yeah. If, if you plan on going through all the Kingdom Hearts games at level 1, you're going to find Cage 2 much more fun at level 1. Yeah. Why 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 is Kingdom Hearts 2 a lot better than 1 for level 1? Um, because it was designed with a level 1 run it being possible in mind. Whereas in Kingdom Hearts 1, it was just kind of slapped on because people wanted yeah. it. And Kingdom Hearts 2 has way more varied gameplay. Yeah. Before it, you've got like the physical attacks, magic, summons, limits, drive forms, reaction commands, and like it all synergizes very well. Yeah. Whereas in Kingdom Hearts 1, it's extremely limited, what you actually. Do. And the fact that in Kingdom Hearts 2, you actually get abilities on level 1. Yeah, that's true. That's the best part. Now, witness true power. I'm tired of missing because my range is too short. Alright. He's gotta be close to being dead, right? Genie must have just wrecked him. How did that hit me? My range is How too did he short. still hit me with that? My range is too short. Oh, 
Oh, what am I doing? I should have been using Sora's cheer. Not Xantasukin against this guy. I hate when he switches up his batteries. Oh-ho-ho! Oh. The dodge roll. There we go! Behemoth dead. Don't I even get the Omega Arts? Or does that come after this? No, Omega- I thought you got an Omega Arts from him. Oh no, that's from the first Behemoth. End of the world, Loki, one of my favorite final worlds. Yeah, it's cool. It's got such good visuals, such great music. And I do enjoy the final boss fights. Yeah. Okay, oh, here we come. Oh here we are, God. World Terminus. And thankfully we can skip all of it except the last one. Yep, I'm just gonna... Uh, this is the 100 acre. We're just gonna have the W in this race. Oh no, I can't skip all of it. I have to do the... That's right, I, there's the Olympus Coliseum one. You're just gonna have that win in our little race, and I'm gonna just struggle to be dancing Riku, apparently. <laughs> well, if... If you're... Another thing you could do is, if you're... I, you could just pick, I'm giving Ansem Riku a break, I'm gonna do all the Olympus stuff while it's still easy. You're right, I could. Because, yeah, you're gonna win this for sure. Ow, wow, those air soldiers wasted no time in killing me, wow. That is probably the better, the smarter option. It will make things easier in the late game. Because what's probably gonna happen, like, even if I were to beat him right now, there's no way I'm gonna beat the game by the end of the night. <laughs> so it probably would be better for me to do something like that. Yeah, if, I mean, if you're trying to get 100% in a level 1 run, which I do not recommend, but... Or, or at least beat all of the challenges. I think it would make the rest of the game easier, though. Some of it would. I know. Uh, Stop it. I, let, just let Simba roar at you. Yeah, because once I beat him, all the... Extra stuff becomes a lot harder, right? Yep, all the heartless get harder. Mm -hmm. So once I beat him, I won't really be able to do the extra stuff. I'll just have to, like, stick. Correct! <laughs> yeah. Didn't you do a lot of that well, extra stuff after beating him, though? Yeah, I tried to do the, the preliminaries are freaking impossible after you beat him, man. You just made it a lot harder on yourself. Oh, did you never get hurt, Jill? Well, no. Uh, I got the stout shield. Oh yeah. All right, well, I'll give it one more try. The thing is, I know, like I know from all the Kingdom Hearts bosses I've done in the data battles, I'm extremely close to beating him. Like I'll beat him in the next couple tries. Just because I know his patterns now, I know when to hit him in my third phase. Like, the only reason I'm dying right now is because I'm getting hasty, I'm going to try something new to make it faster. Or because of, like, just randomness, but that's, that's a small factor, to be honest. This isn't, this isn't hard, it just takes a while. Like it's a, this honestly. Is well, not it, it can be fight. hard and take a while. I honestly don't think this is a hard fight at all. Now that I know like everything about it, I don't think it is. Once you know how to dodge his stuff, it's just long. It's long, and the hard parts are at the end, so it's so punishing if you uh, screw up. Yeah. Oh, I can hit you after that. So after he does the you're finished and jumps in the air. Oh really? Yeah. Get me 
There's not. All right, Mushu, you gotta save me. Mushu. Oh, but I need I need damage storage, Mushu. Though. Oh shoot! Can I use physical attacks after Mushu summoned? Yeah. I am Mushu. No, I can't. Well. Well, but now. Why can't. Oh, that's why I can't summon double. I don't have the MP for it. Alright, I just gotta hope I can proc some Xantisukins. I couldn't proc some Xantisukins. Man, how are you supposed to do so in this fight? I guess you gotta be, like, near the door. Because if you're in the middle, they're just gonna hit you before you can charge up all the way. This should- oh, <laughs> Yep. Yeah, now in this true power. Fight. Uh, it's not. It's not even hard at this. Point. Okay, Simba, destroy the last wave. I feel like. I hope it's the last wave. I feel like my brain is kind of holding back right now because I know if I beat him, everything else is gonna get a lot harder. So part of me doesn't. Ah, uh, yeah. Part of me doesn't want to beat him. That's true. All right, good job, Simba. You're the MVP. You never know. Maybe you'll get stuck on a boss all night and you'll have to go and then I'll have time to finish all my grinding and then... Yeah, but it's entirely possible. You never know. I, I... It's not likely, though. You're pretty good. Well, thank you. I, well, this, this is all completely blind at this point for me. I've Again, I've watched a few videos of, like, tips, but... that I'm, I'm afraid of the world of Chaos Fight. It's possible. If you get stuck and if I... It's possible. If you don't beat it today, then I actually have a decent chance. Yeah. But you probably will. Alright. Go off to the Hundred Acre Wood World of Chaos, or World Terminus. <sighs> Get ourselves some final equipment. Honestly, that's my best bet, because even if I beat him right now... Ooh, Mega Elixir. Even if I beat him right now, I'm not gonna catch up to you. It's honestly up to you whether you beat it or not tonight. Very true. All right. This is my smartest bet. Do not advance. All right. The, plot. the last, last easy part of the game. Oh wait, no. This is not the easy part. I was thinking. So, of. how did you beat Ursula? Um, a lot of patience, <laughs> and a lot of running away when I knew her attacks were coming. And yeah, I did do. For some of her attacks, you can go behind her head and beat her up, but... Nintendo Addict, I'm just gonna say I cannot win in a half hour. I don't even think speedrunners can win in a half hour at this point. Yeah, no, no. Oh man, these invisibles are a lot stronger than the ones that I fought earlier. Yeah, it is much they easier. Actually can oh my goodness, kill. it's so much easier to do the short air combos on keyboard. Let me try it again on... No, on... I mean, I guess you can, but... Yeah, I guess you can't it's not bad. I, I think I might hit a roadblock at the a World of Chaos fight, just if the regular enemies are giving me this much trouble. How does it sometimes come out? Yeah, free invisibles, tiny hallway. Not a good combo. Alright, let's try something else. Oh, there we go. I got it. See? Alright. Stop blocking my attacks! It won't even let me get damage storage off. Alright, new, new, new plan. Boy, the gummy ship. Come on. Get me 
All right. Stop them. God damn it, Storage. Mushu. Ideally, we take out the one that wasn't stopped first. Where is Ursula, Tranquil, Grotto, or Cavern Nook? Cavern Nook. Cavern Nook. Darn it! Even damage storage, Mushu isn't taking them out quickly. Should I use elixirs for her? If you have some to spare. Buy more? No. Oh. Donald? You literally ruined that in Oh no, there is more than free invisibles in this hallway. Oh no, we're so screwed. Wait, I don't Yeah, I think I literally have to Do I have Aurora? I highly Oh, actually you might have Aurora. Wait, I have Ars Arcanum and Sonic Light. Yeah. You get Ars Arcanum for beating the Dark Riku fight. Not Ansem Riku, Dark Riku. And then you get Sonic Blade for clearing the preliminaries and defeating Cerberus. I do have Aurora. This one says for Ursula 2, it says, Swim up to the head and maintain stop and damage storage Aurora. How are, how the, in, how in the world are you supposed to do this fight? It says, swim up and maintain stop and damage storage Aurora. Use the elixirs to restore your MP on a 3. Those are now trying lodging yourself behind her head and attacking with basic combos. There's, there's like six invisibles in this hallway. It's really tiny and you can't get That sounds them. actually really good for her. Stop and damage storage Aurora. I'm gonna try it. Do, 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 do. Huh. I can't believe your favorite Kingdom Hearts game is Chain of Memories. It's not, it's just a joke. My favorite's too. Oh really? Yeah. Oh. By far. It's actually a favorite. No, no. I was like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, two makes sense. I think two no two, is two really final good. mix and three remind in my opinion are the best games. I would agree. Three reminds data battles are so Oh man, I got I got like all but one of them in a corner and stopped them, but then the last one picked me off. I just remember my friend is playing a game that I never watched. Darn it! Wow, I actually killed a lot of them. <laughs> I think this. I think this is the strategy. Pull them all into the corner, stop them, and then gravity spam. How did one of them escape? Well, I took out all but two of them. That's pretty good. <laughs> I, I can hear what's happening on your end. <laughs> Through the microphone. You said what? Oh, I just heard somebody else start talking. Oh, yeah, I was watching something. Do, do, do. Jeez, I have no clue what the heck to even do for this one.
even do for this? Nothing works. Alright. This might work. Summon Simba immediately, then we do the blur them in the corner and stop. No matter what you do, one of them just never comes over to get stopped. Alright. Maybe we can pull them all to the middle of the hallway. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe one of them's too far away. But man, I wish you could skip summon animations. That would be great. Yeah. Okay, now I have like four things open. Okay. Why is... Oh, no. How do I get to bigger recently? Um, you have to go back to the undersea, like, cave. Oh, that's yeah. right, that's right. And swim for the current. That's right, yep, I remember. Okay, I think that's the strategy. Simba in the center. That should be good. Everyone's favorite sitcom, Simba in the center. Simba in the center. <laughs> it's like Malcolm in the middle, <laughs> but with lions. <laughs> wow, my... My people on Twitch, I get to listen to free streams at once. Wow. I I really wish I had Stopka right now, because Stopper does not have nearly as much range as I want. Alright. I think this strategy will work well on here. Is there is there a way to make it so that your microphone doesn't pick up that stream? Oh, yeah, there is. No, because what I do is I have it on my phone, and then I have you on my iPad, and then I have I have like four things on. Oh, interesting. Yeah, the reason you can hear it is because I'm playing it. I was watching it through my phone. So I gifted this guy for uh, for. And he's playing oh, it right now, nice. and I forgot about it until like the middle of this. Oh. Night. So I'm just, he's doing the first night. I'm just seeing what he's doing. I think we'll pass the first night. It's 4 a.m. Oh my gosh. I beat the. Okay, I beat the first hallway. Now, do I leave and come back in the hopes that they stay dead? I'm gonna do that, because if I did it once. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, good. Okay, yeah. Two invisibles is a lot easier to deal with than, like, six invisibles. There we go. Wonderful. Now. Oh boy. Definitely saving that we just did that. <laughs> now it's the last easy part of the game. Nice. It's time for Chernabog. And then immediately after, it's World of Chaos. Alright, I'm about to do first of all. 
There we go, we land on his shoulder, summon Mushu. And Mushu should just absolutely destroy him. Must have been hitting not his weak point. That's great. Well, now we'll try Genie. There we go. Bye, Chirpod. Okay, I'm back. All right. Well, Chernabog is dead, and we get Super Glide. Oh wow! You beat the bat thing. Oh yeah, he's super easy, and I even screwed up. I had to use a backup strat. Oh wow! All right, we're getting Sora's cheer. We're using a cottage. Oh no, we're not using a cottage because we have full HP already. Oh, that was nice of the devil to give us back our HP and MP after killing that him. That is pretty nice. <laughs> that is not something I would expect from Satan. Alright. This is the big one. This is the fight I'm really worried about. Oh, I'll turn that down. There we go. I am actually very scared, as a matter of fact. <laughs> oh my gosh, Donald and Goofy didn't die from that initial attack. Come on, just climb him up. Come on. Get me straight. Summon Genie. <clears throat> yep, I'm, I'm officially on the hardest fight. Required fight in the level 1 run. What's that? Behemoth? Um, it's World of Chaos, so it starts with Behemoth, and then there's like eight waves of really powerful Oh, Arbus yeah! With no real break. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Gotcha. Alright, it says... Swim up to the head and maintain stop and damage Stora Aurora. Use elixirs for Stora MP, and then dodge behind the head and do basic combo. Got it. All right, now we use the cottage, and now the real fight begins. Okay. If you pause scum, you can get <laughs> you can use a cottage in after the first wave. All right, it's Dumbo time. All right, let's try this. Stop and damage storage error, so I need to hit him with a combo first. Don't bite me. You're gonna bite me. Yep. Uh oh. Wait. Um, is there such a... So if I do three hits and do stop, does it get rid of my damage storage for Aurora? Um... 
if you do a physical attack, then it gets rid of your damage storage. Oh. Well, I knew I was going to die to that one. I made it pretty far, though. Didn't expect that, did you? Nope. I am getting very good at dodging that attack. not dead yet. I've hit it with so many attacks. <laughs> Level one in a nutshell. I'm just, with how easy it went down last time. This guy just made it. Oh, that's right. I did. I didn't summon genie this time. This guy just okay. made it through the second night. So, congrats to him. Nice. Oh uh, well. So okay. I'm confused. When it says damage storage Aurora, then I can't be attacking while the can. Can I attack? Or. I guess I would just spam it, use all of it. So I'm not supposed to attack while the aurora is happening, right? Or it gets correct, it. correct. Okay. That is that is correct. Shoot! I don't have damage storage. At least I don't think I have damage storage. I'm about to find out! I do have damage storage. Gotcha. Gotcha. Wow. I kind of wish Mushu made you invincible. I know that wouldn't make sense, but... Stop. Defense. Defense. S stop right there, criminal scum. Goofy, Donald, Genie. <laughs> yeah. Once I get past the third wave, I think I'll be good. I feel like I did no damage. I feel like that stop Aurora does no damage. I did not use Aurora. <laughs> well, I hope it lasts for a long time, on the world. 
I didn't realize it lasted for that long. Yeah, it lasts like a minute almost. Oh. Alright, Genie didn't do nearly enough damage. She's kind of a crazy boss. Yeah. I hate the sucky thing that she does. Yeah, you either have to swim over her or swim like away from her while she does that. It's tough. There we go. Cool. I'm really glad I learned about that trick of using it, being able to use a cottage after the first fight. That makes it a lot easier. Yeah, that's useful. Well, that's... Well, guess we're summoning Simba early! <laughs> that's actually really bad! <laughs> well, I don't think we're winning this one, but... Oh great, it didn't even kill all the dark balls. Get me straight. Hurry. Hurry. Yep, knew that was doomed after I accidentally summoned Simba when I wanted to summon Mushu. That's unfortunate. Yeah, it, it really is. I really do think that once I get past the wave of invisibles, I'll be good, because I can just summon Simba and destroy everything. Stuck on the second day. That's a tough game because you have to, you really have to crank the volume. I hate that. Which I never finished jump scares it. a lot. It's like I, I both love FNAF 4 and hate it because of that. Yeah. It's genius from a sense of like let's make the jump scares even more jarring, but yeah, I don't think that's I don't think that's the best way of going about it. It gave me too much anxiety playing that game because uh, it's like I couldn't hear Chica over the sound of the car moving out of the driveway. So oh, I'm getting yeah. jump scared over and over and over again, and when I thought she really wasn't there, and it was just like I physically can't I I would put my volume to max. I don't know if my headphones were messed up, I don't know what it was, but... And the, the quote-unquote breathing you have to listen for does not sound it like doesn't. breathing at no, all. It sounds it's like just not help. It's just like... It's like so weird. Yeah. I, I still think FNAF 1 is probably the best. I think FNAF 1 had the best atmosphere. Yes, yes, definitely. all other games. I think FNAF 4 was the scariest. Um... I don't know if any other of the games would have been, like, I guess the best overall is probably Ultimate Custom Night, right? Ultimate Custom Night is fun. Because you can have, like, everything in it, maybe. But, yeah, the first one, just the atmosphere of the first one is definitely the best in the series. My, f my favorite one to play was the Pizzeria Simulator, because you didn't have to make it a horror uh, game if you didn't want uh, to. And I'm a bit of a wuss when it comes to yeah. horror. Darn it! Oh, that's a, that's annoying. Mm. He always bites me. Stop biting me. That is gonna be really difficult. Hey, 
It's like you almost can't even escape with a breath. Yeah, I'm gonna be really low on a P after that. Maybe I should leave one of those dark balls alive at the end. Yeah, I think that's gonna be the best. Alright, Genie. We've been seeing a lot of each other lately. Oh my gosh, Genie just wrecked that guy. This fight is kind of difficult. Oh no, Genie! What have you done? Actually, no, this this shouldn't be a problem. Genie made it so I couldn't use the cottage. <laughs> Alright, see you in Nintendo Attic. Good luck at work. I have no idea how the heck you're supposed to do that stupid invisible fit wave. Even even though I've seen videos on how to do it, I'm still like, this doesn't seem possible. All of, all of the videos I've seen, they're like, for the Invisible Wave, just stop them all when they're clustered together. But you can't stop them all when they're clustered together, because they're not close enough together. Yeah, that seems tough. This might require a different strategy. Once again, Genie, don't let me use the cottage, but I don't think that really makes a difference, because I'm going to use an elixir anyway. Okay, Mushu for the second wave definitely works, so I'm going to keep it up. He's, he's looking up a guide because he was getting stuck on the nights. He didn't make it past night two. Yeah. That's... I, I remember doing that. If you remember when I played it, I would do that sometimes when I got stuck on like night five. Oh or yeah. Well, FNAF FNAF two is very difficult. Yeah, because he's playing. This is four that he's playing. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna summon some of prematurely. This might be a really bad idea, but the fact is, this fight is difficult. Okay. 
Ursula, Ursula, Ursula. Why are these level one bosses so hard? <sighs> Just reappear you. Oh, this butt! Do you don't understand? Wow! Do you wow! Do you understand what they mean by damage door, Gerarga? Does that yeah. So, when you have Aurora, yeah. when you're right next to enemies, it it'll them. like do like minor. Da it hits them, and if you have damage storage, it'll hit for a lot more. So am I supposed but to? But you just... can't use. You cannot use physical attacks. Yeah, I gotcha. Because if you do, then well, you get rid of damage storage. Yeah. Why did it want me to use stock too, though? Uh, probably to stop her from attacking during it. Yeah, I know, but it's like, I'm, I don't have enough magic. She's not gonna die from three stops. Like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why you would do stop. Yeah. Oh, you they probably use the stop strategy where they're like, they, they load up Ariel and your party members with Aethers who will just replenish you as you, the fight goes on. No, because they said to use three elixirs. They pretty much said stop and damage storage Aurora. Use the elixirs to restore your MP. If those are not you're lodging yourself on your head and attacking with basic combos, like how much damage is that even supposed to do? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, yeah, I could, cause like when I do it, am I supposed to stop, like because and just spam Aurora? But if I spam it, then I'm not getting the full effect of it. You get what I mean? Cause it lasts for a long time. Yeah. That's what I'm confused on, I guess. Wave of like the eight invisibles, though. I have no idea what to do about that. Get me straight. Maybe Tinkerbell? That wouldn't really let me survive by one extra hit, though. Aurora lasts for a long time. Gotcha. That's for a really long time, actually. She got destroyed by that! Whoa! Damage storage Aroa destroyed her! So what I did is I didn't do the stop, I just did damage storage, and I just kept, like, in her face and kept spamming it, and it gave me increased defense and destroyed her health. Wow. Wow, that was nice. That was, that was pretty quick. Oh my... That was really good. Well, I stopped all the invisibles, but then there was nothing I could really do after that. That was really good. Oh, this fight is brutal. But if I can, if I can get past the third wave. It, oh, it's just like the preliminaries. If I can get past the third wave. <laughs> I really want to see Kingdom Hearts 4. So you think the Master of Masters is done at time? 
I mean, based on my current, like, just what I've seen. If it's, if Master Master's true identity is a character we've already seen, then I think Demix makes the most sense. Do you sense. think it's because they have similar personalities, like the Infinite yeah. type? Yeah, and also because they haven't done anything with Demix, and they've done stuff with, like, every other organization member. Or are in the process of doing stuff but with, But it just like, feels weird for, like, member. Demix to be this super villain, you know? Right. It just feels weird that Demix would be the super villain mastermind behind everything. It just, like, it makes sense for, um, for Lushu, right? AK, or Zigbar. It made sense for him. Because, like, what? In hindsight, yeah, yeah. In hindsight, it's like, oh, that, wow, that makes sense. But it wouldn't really make sense. It'd be like Demix. I don't know. I'm honestly, I'd be cool if they were just like Master of Masters is a unique character. I think it could be like, I don't know, maybe it's some something to do with Venetus or something. It's obviously, it's obviously Eeyore. Yes, it is. It's Jar Jar Banks, you're right. Eeyore. Thanks for noticing me. That's so bad. <laughs> Literally have a depressed <laughs> character in Winnie the Pooh. Actual depression. Yep. And he's everyone's favorite. Alright. Oh, doggone it! I summoned Simba early again! Why does it change your summon position? The time has come to use your key. Ariel's rushing. How do I get there again? Please don't tell me he's running hard. Still. Oh no, I beat Ursula, so there shouldn't be. Where's her grotto at? Here it is. It's behind the rock in the main yeah, area. Not it. what I wanted to do, but okay. Man, Donald and Goofy, could you please just not die to his first attack, like, once? Crap claw. Yeah, how do I leave your world? I'm trying to get out of here. You gotta go to a safe point. Yeah. I know. Is, yeah. I know. And the annoying thing is, the final boss is gonna take forever, so I may not be able to beat it tonight. Well, that's the best thing that could happen for me. <laughs> because then I actually have time to uh, finish all this stuff. Why can't I go up anymore? But I titled my stream Finishing the Cage one level. You know how many times I've titled the stream Finishing and I don't finish it? <laughs> to be fair, I think I put blind in quotation marks. So. Excuse me, blind is a banned term on Twitch now? You say that I missed the part where that's my it problem. It is offensive to blind people. <laughs> Said no blind people ever. Sh show me one blind person who's that's genuinely offended. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yep. That's what I'm saying. It's the non-blind people compa complaining about it. As is so often the case, people being offended on behalf of ours. No, I missed the chance to make, get it's the. Like, why uh, are you offended on? You can't be offended on behalf of something. It's because people are looking for purpose in life. Yes. And this is the best they can find. Exactly. It's sad, but it's. Uh, it's. Yep. Do, 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 do. I want to find a set a point. I hope I can find a set a point. Here's the beginning. Now I can train. <laughs> I'll let you know if I ever get a genuine blind person who is offended by yes. Oh wait, they can't see that I put it in the title. Oh no, already out here with their risky jokes, I see. Yes, that's exactly what Artie's known for. Risky human humor. Yep. yep. Sounds about right. You know where it's time for me to go now? You know, every trinity at this point, every trinity is accessible. Most of the Dalmatians are also accessible. The Olympus Cups get way harder past here, so this is your last chance. Okay. I don't know- Oh, come on! Why didn't my elixir go off? I don't know of the- If it had, I would've- Trinity location. I actually was doing really well against those invisibles. Yeah. Okay, that's- that's the strat. That is the strat. Mm -hmm. Do, 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 do. 
I am going to go pee because I drank a whole Dr. Pepper. I will be right back. Well, all right. Thank you for announcing yep, that. I just wanted to make sure everybody knew I know it's very important. It is. <laughs> All right, Behemoth. Okay, yeah, that's definitely the strat for the Invisible Wave. You actually can stop them at the beginning. All, all but one, and I can deal with one not being stopped. That's okay. For those of you who are wondering, I'm waiting to use Genie on his horn because he was invincible for a short time after doing that. Like, rude. Round of shock attack. Alright. Man, Genie, come on! I expect you to do more damage than that, alright? Like, I kind of expect you to kill the behemoth, Genie. Okay, there we go. That's what I was looking for, alright. Spam st pa spam pause, so eventually we get the blue command. Yeah. Not sure if you actually need to do that, but I figure might as well. I'm not using my cottages for anything else. Alright. Yeah, we use Mushu, we use stop and gravity spam on the invisibles. We gotta use our elixirs during that, and then we can hope- I think we can use Simba to destroy all of the rest of the waves. But we gotta be really, really good. Gone it! Why does it? Ugh. My stop was like one frame away from going off, and then I got hit, and that ruined literally everything. I also want to point out that even speedrunners can't do this fight consistently because that's how difficult it is. Doesn't help that I'm not good at. Jumping, spamming gravity while constantly switching targets and keeping an eye on my health so that I can use an elixir. Or rather, my MP, I guess. Thank you, Donald. Um, just get on his butt.
Man, sometimes Genie just does not do nearly as much damage as other times. He's very inconsistent. Can I take shelter underneath him? Or is that a really bad idea? No, I totally can. Cool. That's not good. No damage storage. And no... Oh, that's that's the double whammy. No damage storage and no cottage. Great. Well, this means we're gonna have to get damage storage off of one of these guys. And I don't have enough MP to summon Mushu. And Donald and Goofy are both dead. Yeah, that... That was literally everything that could have gone wrong did. But only after I beat Behemoth, because... Well, we, we want you to use up as much time as possible. Again, man, this... The long one run would be more fun if you could just turn off the summon animations, but nope, you gotta watch Sword do the very long <laughs> I'm summoning a friend animation every single time. I hate it when it does that shotgun move. How did it hit me? I literally he was using him as a, a ceiling. Again, this is where having scan would be really nice so I can see exactly how close to death he is so I can get have damage storage at the end of the fight. If you don't have damage storage at the end of this fight, it makes the next one so difficult. Because it means you have to get damage storage first, which means that Donald and Goofy are very likely to be dead, which means you have to use more MP to heal. Okay, good. That's the ideal. You want damage storage as the final hit. Alright. Okay. I don't like how luck-based the Invisibles wave is. It feels like it's luck how many of them freeze. And even then, it's, like, ridiculously difficult to kill them all in that short time. It also... yeah. It does... this doesn't feel like a battle where it's like, oh, you gotta be fast on your reflexes and you can adapt to what happens. It feels like it's like, nope, you gotta just hope for the right pattern. If not, well, gotcha. you tried, but you're doing it again. Get all of them. Okay, I didn't get all of them. Okay, only two left. I think this is doable. Okay, only one left. Okay, well, he did the annoying move. Here. Here. I'm back. 
Are you still on that same fight? Shh. I, I need to concentrate. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. I beat that stupid Invisibles wave, and now I can summon Simba and hopefully clear out the rest. Oh my gosh. You got this. I hope so. I am out of items, so... <laughs> if I can't do it with this... Oh, that's not good. Darn it! Ugh! Alright, I need to change up my equipment then. That's tough. I, I need... I think I need a Mega Elixir in, in this. Darn it, that Invisibles wave went so well. I don't know if I'll be able to do that again. Yeah, there, there is a way. You can't stop all the invisibles, but you can stop, like, all but one. And then just gravity spam. Mm. And that gets rid of pretty much all the invisibles, and then you just have to deal with one, which isn't as bad. Yeah, that's tough. Still super annoying, because, like, you have to kill the last invisible, hope Donald and Goofy are both alive, so you can immediately summon Simba to deal with everything else. Mm. It's so precise. Do -do 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 -do. I can def I can definitely see why this is the hardest fight in the bubble run. Huh, so that's harder than even like Ansem? Oh yeah. Well the nice thing about Ansem is you can like you get your HP and MP back in between waves and you don't have to do every single wave again if you fail in a future one. Whereas for this fight you do. Wow, Genie. You're killing me, man. Genie literally left the guy with one HP. Oh, great! No damage storage and no cottage. So that sounds bad. Basically, so this attempt is now over, basically. Oh my gosh, it's not over yet. Okay, Donald and Goofy were not stupid, and they actually lived for that. There's, there's, <laughs> this entire fight, your anxiety is just through the roof for the whole thing. Yep. Because a single slip up, you have to do like six minutes. Oh, it's do be that way. Uh, darn it! <sighs> why are dark balls so annoying? Actually, why is literally every enemy in this world so annoying? I really wish Genie was more consistent with his damage. Because sometimes he kills the Behemoth instantly, and sometimes he leaves it with, like, a ton of... I remember I destroyed Dragon Maleficent. Like, he was so random, but... In one yeah, of them, you... Yeah. <laughs> I had to do Dragon Maleficent, like, 50 times before he finally, like, actually dealt enough damage. So, it says you know every trinity, and every trinity is accessible. Maybe I should just explore the world or something? I would definitely do the Olympus Coliseum Cups, like the Pegasus Cup and the Phil Cup. If you yeah, I was saying to do that. I can do that first. If you care about doing that, that is, which I think you do. I mean, yeah, I feel like it'd be good. Well, they're going to be borderline impossible after beating yeah, the Olympus. Yeah, yeah. Turn to the top. Uh, if, if the preliminaries got as difficult as they are, I can't even imagine what the actual cups would be They're like. probably still challenging, as they are now. At least this music is like gorgeous. No, no damage storage again. What should I equip for these tournaments? 
What magic? Um, probably Thundara. Thundara and... Ah. Definitely Cure. Yeah. What should be my... Should I put Fire or Blizzard? Or Gravity or... What? I'm not sure. Blizzard, maybe? In case you go up against Yellow Operas. Blizzard's good against those. Because the Fundara isn't going to affect the Yellow Operas. Yeah. Alright, Mushu. You gotta get me out of this situation. What is this chest that won't open? Gotcha. Where? Coliseum. Gotcha. Oh. Um. I think you need to beat. Gotcha. Hades Cup? Does it tell me which cups I've beaten? I don't think it does. Gotcha. Alright. Don't, uh. Yeah, it says something about this fight when even speedrunners cannot do it consistently. You just, you have to hope the invisibles cooperate and move towards the center. Because if they don't, you, you're just kind of screwed. Cause there's no way of dealing with like eight invisibles at the same time. Gotcha. But I will never tire of this music at least. That's a puzzle. I'm so glad this song got into Smash. Oh shoot, why, why did I do that? Well, this guy probably has a ton of HP left. Sora, are you kidding me? Oh, this guy definitely has a lot of health left now. Yeah, how do I know which cups I've beaten? If it doesn't tell me. I think I just beat Um, go to Jiminy's journal. Oh. I think it I think it'll smart. tell you which ones you've beaten there. Okay, no damage storage again. Where would I just find that at? Under the menu, under journal. Oh, come on! Why is it every time I end the first fight with no damage storage, it never lets me use the cottage? That sucks. Olympus Coliseum. Okay, at least my MP count is good, so... Okay, this this could still work out. The Dark Balls are just going to be a little more annoying to deal with. No, it doesn't tell me. The only fight we have left that I'm looking forward to is Sora versus Ansem one-on-one. -on -one. Where do I get the Herc Shield from? I get that... Hercules Cup. So you've beaten Hercules Cup. I think Cup. that's the only one I've beaten. You... You've not. I know you have not beaten the Pegasus Cup because you don't have Strike Raid. And then, what does the Phil Cup get you? Phil Cup gives you Gravera. Which I don't think I have that, right? If you only have level 1 Gravity, then you have not beaten the Phil Cup. Let's see. Yeah. Yep. That's. Yep. That's right. Which one's easier, Phil or Pegasus? Phil Cup is easier. I'll do that one first. Would you believe me if I told you I'm still having more fun with this fight than with the preliminaries? <laughs> That's crazy. I guess. Yeah, I would. 
Thanks, Dono, for the heal. I, I put the setting so he heals me. Oh, thanks. Yeah, you can put the setting so he always heals you, pretty much. I like how you can do that in Kingdom Hearts 3 as well. Where it's like, Donald, you, if you're going to heal, you are only going to heal me. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, I said, I think I said his magic to like frequent and like, I don't know. I forget specifically what the settings are. See ya. Fourth. Fourth. Rats, I thought Genie did a good enough job. But apparently, apparently not. Alright, so we jump on this guy's butt and hit his head. It's very easy. Doesn't seem too bad. Come on. So far, at least. I'm just using basic combos. It is is Fundara? Oh, is we gonna be against Fundara just wrecking the? Waves? Well, no, because I'm fighting the electric witches right now. Ah. I'm just swinging on them normally. Come on. Now it's one v one versus the last one. Don't know when Goofy died though. Uh, that's okay. They're expendable. Yep. Do, 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 do. Oh, I'm fighting. Da Darn it! I. That's not good. That's actually very, very, very bad. Thanks for the heal. Well, I think this is attempt over. Unless Donald and Goofy can help. Oh, I got destroyed. <laughs> do, do, do. Man, if the game just does not let me use the cottage, which it's been doing alarmingly often, it really screws up the rest that of the sucks. fight. <laughs> Which is weird, because I got it really consistently for the first, like, 15 attempts, and now it's just like, nope, not gonna do it. So you have to go at midnight, right? Realistically. I'm At this point, my only goal, really, is to beat the World of Chaos. If I can beat it in the next couple of attempts, then yeah, I'm gonna try to beat the final boss, but... At this, po at this point, I am under the assumption I'm not going to be able to beat it. <laughs> That's that tough, huh? Well, that gives me a shot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it would be cool to race just the final boss, honestly. Yeah, maybe that's... The Ex except easy. you're at an advantage because I, I can't skip the Billy Zane cutscenes. <laughs> I mean, I can watch them, too. To keep them <laughs> we can show our appreciation of Billy Zane. Nothing against Richard Epcar, but Billy Zane was a better answer. He was, answer. he was. He had that, like almost seductive voice. It's like. just they have so many old dudes playing, they keep passing away. Like, the voice of Xehanort passed away, I know. too. Well, the weird thing is, like, I still don't know why they didn't bring back Billy Zane for, like, the other Kingdom Hearts games, because he was still around, and he wasn't at all opposed to doing oh. it. They just are like, no, we're, we're getting this other guy. I thought guy. he passed away. No, Billy Zane's still alive. Really? Oh. I yeah. Place him. I mean, I like all of the voices in them, so... Yeah, like, Richard Epcar does a decent job, I just, I prefer Billy Zane. Because Billy Zane had the perfect mix of, like, the really calm, soothing voice yeah. for the cutscenes, and then, like, also had the amazing battle quotes. Wow, Thundar really destroys these. Okay, yes, okay, this is good, this is very good. Oh my gosh, there it is, Cottage. Cottage and damage storage. This is a good attempt. We just have to hope the invisibles play nice. Thunder. Oh, the green ones absorb magic. Whoa, 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 whoa. Thank you guys to chill. Really? I'm really wishing that I had that extra one MP right about now. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. I've never done a Kingdom Hearts randomizer before. I think it'd be fun. Yeah. From what I've seen, like, Kingdom Hearts 2's randomizer is much more about, like, what combat abilities can you get to help you through the battles, and the Kingdom Hearts 1 is actually more of, like, a regular randomizer, where it's like, there are all these items you need to find. Yeah. 
Are, are you serious? Wow, oh, those Dark Balls no, were the biggest trolls ever. Wow. That was literally... Like, how badly did the heavens have to align for that to happen? Like, literally everything that could have gone wrong with these stupid Dark Balls did. They just took turns teleport fragging me. Unfortunate. Even though... Mushu, come on. Like, you need to take care of this, alright, buddy? Gotcha. Oh my goodness. I used one Thundara on the first wave of enemies and they all died instantly. Yeah, that's what happens when the enemies are still weak. <laughs> Cause the fill cup, you're supposed to do the fill cup like right after beating Deep Jump. Oh. It, it's a really old early cup. It's funny because they still do like decent damage to me. Like I die in two hits. That's because you got you got level one defense. That's why. Yeah. You know I max out all of Sora's stats in Kingdom Hearts three. I yes I do. Because <laughs> you made the data fights kind of a joke by doing. Yeah, that. I did. I'm, I'm excited to do level 1 data fights. That's gonna be... Oh yeah. That's gonna be a challenge. Are you doing level 1 data fights or level 1 pro codes data fights? Are those doable? Yes. Because the pro... The data fights were intended to be possible with pro then, codes. Yeah, I'll do that. I'm like, they're... I have done a couple. It is incredibly difficult, but every time I died, I, it felt like it was my fault that I yeah, died, and not like, you. well, the game just threw out something. It is doable, because they do have patterns, so, yeah. See ya. yeah. Okay. They have pretty good, consistent good, patterns. Good, 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 good. good. Do -do -do. Do, 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 do. So what is this? What is this ice? What happens when I beat all the uh, cups? So if you beat, once you beat the fill, the Pegasus and the Hercules cups, you get the stuff for doing that. You can seal the keyhole. You get the Olympia and Metal Chocobo keyblades, and then after clearing Ansem, Riku, and Hollow Bastion, you get the Hades cup. Mm. Gotcha. You can also do the time trials and solo cups for those if you care i would advise against it because i know some of the time trials are literally not even possible on a level one so you have to beat ansem riku for certain cups you need to beat ansem riku for the hades cup gotcha. Gotcha. oh my goodness these fire things are so annoying Bye -bye. Job, we did it. Okay, this one freaking invisible is being the biggest pain in the butt I've ever seen. He will not leave me alone. Oh, great. Well, the game said no. So, and that's how it was. That is unfortunate. This, this fight really does, like, it's definitely a lot of skill you need, but it feels like there is enough luck that if the game just decides you don't win, then you don't win. Yeah. I don't see any possible way to consistently get through those invisibles. What? Without using Simba, and, and then and if you do that, then you won't be able to consistently get through the last wave. Yeah. Enjoying the Olympus music. Yep. I've died to dumb stuff because I'm not healing when I use it good. It's also annoying that the invisibles at this part of End of the World are doing everything in two hit kills, whereas the ones at the beginning were like four hit kills. Like, I see what you're doing here, dude. It's not okay. So here's something funny. Um, Donald just used Blizzard. And I, at the same time, I used Thunder, and his Blizzard killed all the enemies in one hit. Sorry, I wasted my thunder. <laughs> and then Donald's like, I did this! Yeah. 
Well, Donald is canonically the strongest magic user in uh, Final Fantasy. So. Oh yeah. Hey, so Donald, I could go for a Zeta Flare right yeah, about now. That was crazy. Just, just saying. He really killed Terra. He really just killed him. He like incinerated Terra in a <laughs> yes. That's crazy. In that timeline, Terra doesn't come back. Like, he doesn't come back as Terra. It's just, no, Donald, like, completely destroyed yeah. him. He got wrecked. Good. Donald's like, what? <laughs> he was a bot. He deserved it. <laughs> he was a bot. I wish I could do a good Donald Duck voice. Donald Duck voice is something. You have to, like, suck air in your cheeks while talking. Yeah, I don't know how people think you do it. Why aren't I hit so weak? This has got to be a glitch. There's no way these feet are this strong. Oh, the feet are pretty strong. Okay, one guy. Heal me again, Donald. Stop him again. What the heck? Oh, this fight's the absolute worst. Literally, sometimes the, the, the invisibles just don't stop when you stop on them. What on earth? Okay, you've got to. You, I have to stop those guys like very frequently. Otherwise, if they if they escape the stop, it is all over. I think I have the strategy. I think I, I'm afraid I'm gonna burn for my items too quickly, but I think that's the only way. Just to use the stop a little early to get most of them, then you stop again to get them. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it will. But I I can't keep doing the same thing I'm always doing because it keeps ending in failure. Okay, let's beat this tournament. Seven C. I find it easier. Um. Oh. oh no. When you're doing these fights with all of the witches, to focus on one at a time. Yeah. That was the only way I could beat those red nocturnes. Is yeah. On one that's red what I'm at a right time. Now. Man, Genie, did you do any damage to this fiend at all? I've been hitting it with physical attacks for like the last five minutes. It feels like. Oh, great, no damage storage. That's just what I wanted. Nice. How many seeds are there Does in it... the Fel Cup? There are ten. Um, at nine seeds technically. There are ten, but you're one. I'm on the sixth so. seed. Good. Thank you, Donald and Goofy, for not dying in two seconds. That You actually have surpassed my expectations for that.
Now we just have to hope that the Dark Balls aren't complete bots. Heartless on the ground are annoying. See ya. Looking like a fool with your heartless on the ground. Gotcha. Oh. Gotcha. What? I didn't even see that. If the yeah, if the dark balls tag team you with the teleport frag, you cannot stop them, and you are well, dead. Well, one of the hands popped up on me. I didn't see it. How many times have I beaten this stupid arch behemoth? I haven't even seen what's beyond the fourth wave, and there are like ten waves in this fight. I don't think he's gonna make it past night, too. I would trade, if he does this fight for me, I'll do night two for him. I still have no idea what Donald says when he just says that. again, but we can work with this. How are this? There's still one. There we go. Oh look! Stop didn't work on them again. What a surprise. strategy and maybe I maybe I can somehow Simba my way through it all? I don't think so. Maybe. No, Simba will not work for that. They come out too quickly and he can't deal with the Dark Balls as well. Okay. Beaten Behemoth like 800 yeah, times now. Wave after that, huh? 
it's the two waves after that that just keep constantly killing me. Okay. I'm gonna try a new strategy. We're gonna Mushu the Dark Balls, then we're gonna Dumbo the Invisibles. Because at the very least, Dumbo makes me invisible, invincible when I'm riding him. And I'm sick of dying to the Invisibles so quickly every time. And hey, damage storage Dumbo, who knows, maybe he can kill someone. guys are the worst you can wow i freaking hate every enemy in this world that's tough that's tough seems oh no i saw you die well i am on i was to say third scene huh that's opposed to what I thought it'd just be a higher number. You go to the lower and lower numbers the more oh. you face. Gotcha. Wow, gravity works on the green witches. Gotcha. On the green requisites. Yeah. I guess because it's a non-elemental spell. Yeah, because Donald used it on them and they all got squished. How do I avoid them? The things that, the big ones that charge at you. I guess I have to go wide. The uh, large yeah. bodies? Yeah, I, I recommend keeping it. I was air. dodge rolling and I couldn't avoid them. Seed, I think. Earth seed, at least. Give me strength. This, it doesn't feel like this is a fight requiring a lot of skill that you can get unlucky on. This feels like a luck-based fight that you have to get really lucky that to. Sucks. On top of having ridiculous skill. Because you're not just going to walk your way into victory. If you don't would Arrow be good in this? I feel like it would be. I don't think Arrow is good anywhere. Wouldn't it half the damage I take and then do damage to them too? Oh, that, oh I guess if you have the upgraded arrows. Maybe. I died in the... Oh, that's so annoying. I feel like I'm going to try that. Oh no, doggone it. Doggone yeah, it. Doggone it. Doggone it. Doggone it. Doggone it. Goofy. Donald. Donald! Donald, you ruined everything, you son of a gun! You died right before I was summoning Dumbo, you little mm, butt. That sucks. <sighs> yeah, I feel like Aurora would be really good. It'll have the damage I take, it'll do residual damage to all the cluster of enemies around me. Well, the half damage, I don't think will make a lick of difference. Because I think everything's going to kill you in two hits. No, even one of those, those little witches, it's at uh, three hits really going to kill you. Okay. Oh, well, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, they don't 
Oh, Gallagher. And yeah, I'm, make, I'm making the executive decision. I'm not doing the final boss today. I'm not even sure if I'll be world Yeah, it looks like you're on that fight for a little bit. Well, that's good. That gives me time to catch up. Yep. I just needed to force myself to do it today to at least force myself to get back into it. Yeah. It's a new year. I don't want to keep procrastinating stuff. That's a good resolution. Yep. Do it, do it, yay! Get it? No, I'm just trying to avoid meteors. No, I'll be celebrating a whole lot more when I get it. <laughs> oh wow! So to knock the feed down, you have to parry them, right? Kind of, yeah. Oh, I hate how tough the pause button is to press in rapid succession. It makes it really difficult to... <sighs> oh, that's how you do the cottage thing, right? Yeah. Yeah, whenever you uh, parry them, they uh, fall down. Okay. So now I have to cancel Mushu, pop an elixir, and then summon Dumbo. All in the hopes that Donald and Goofy don't die to the end. How does this fight have some HP? And I, and I don't even know if this is even going to work. This for has so much HP. Because th this is my own homemade strat. It wow! That dark ball just did not care. Oh no. See, it's just dumb stuff like that that not only can it happen, it feels like it does happen far more often than it does. Just like, oh, are you trying to heal yourself? This is the perfect time to do a teleport attack. Like, why can enemies just teleport on top of you to damage you and there's nothing you can do about it? You thought that was good design. Era is so good. It helped me tank hits and I like destroy them when I touch them. It's so oh, nice. good. That pro probably would have helped you in your, um... I you were struggling with this. Probably. Because like well, if I if I if I had Aurora, I would farm the puppies and get Aurora. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Cause Aroga's gonna help him find a boss. Yeah. Alright. Thank you, Genie. Genie, why can't you do that all the time for the behemoth? Because now I don't even have to get damage storage again. I can go right into Mushu, giving me more time to get the jump on them. Wow, those arms are getting destroyed. Oh, now your Discord stream is at like a really high frame rate and resolution for me. <laughs> nice. See ya. Gotcha. Gotcha. Right. Oh. Nope. I see you trying to teleport on me over and over again. Aurora is going to help out so much in the last fight. Because there's like a swarm of them everywhere. I don't... I hate, I hate this fight so much. I'm talking about the last fight in here. Oh, you're up against the, the like, pink guard armor? No, 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 no. I could use it here, but me. Let's see if I can get Genie to fairly consistently just obliterate this guy, because it might be he oh no. keeps oh no. whiffing like half his attacks. That'd be nice here. Error is so good! Yo, the the fat ones, they can't charge you um, when you have Aurora. It, Aurora, it stops them. Oh, wow. Crazy. Oh, 
This thing is so good. Thank you, Donald. I don't think there's a consistent way of avoiding that dumb attack. It's totally dependent on where the lightning is. Goofy, thank you for tanking that meteor that was intended for me. Oh, they're both knocked out. It's just me and these feet. I wish that... Man, I can't tell you how nice it would be if Genie just dealt consistent damage. Yeah. It would make this, honestly, so much easier. It'd be really broken. But, yeah, it would. Well, I mean, I guess it doesn't have to do a lot. It's not even the case of, I wish he would deal more damage. It's just, I wish he would deal the same amount of damage every time so I can consistently keep damage storage after beating that behemoth. Because yeah. if I have to get damage storage off of the Dark Balls for Mushu, it makes it so much more annoying. Yeah. Proceed. Need some healing, please. What? Wow, these these guys are the absolute worst. I didn't realize they did they were this much damage. I didn't realize that armor did Here so we go. damage. Okay. I did all of that just to even try to use Dumbo against the Invisibles. That's literally all I've been trying to do. Ooh, and I don't I don't even think it's gonna work. I don't think Dumbo has the damage output needed, but sure what's on my phone. I'm, at, I'm at my wit's end. I need to try new strats because the current the ones that were recommended to me just are not working. Yeah, that's awesome. My phone is less delayed than my iPad is. <clears throat> yeah, Dumbo didn't even come close to doing as much damage as necessary. Which wave is that? This is wave three. Wow. I can I have I think I've only gotten past the third wave once. Yeah, those big heartless are crazy. And the annoying thing about this wave is, like, as soon as you kill the last invisible, you have to summon Simba immediately, which requires you to not have another summon out, have enough MP for it, and have your whole party alive. It's virtually impossible to guarantee. Uh... I, I, think, I think the only way this is possible is to literally pray that they can all get stopped and you can get through that. Mm. I'm pretty sure... Because the annoying thing is, if I could get to the... I've gotten past that wave. If I could get past that wave again, but this time I have the Mega Elixir, I think I would be able to get through the rest. Yeah. I'm, I'm, really, I'm really hoping that Simba gets me through the rest of the waves. But it might be... Because I, I have all three cheer abilities equipped for this. So I think that'll have... I think that'll make him last long enough. What does cheer do again? It makes summons last for longer, oh, that's right, yeah. so you can do some of their attacks more. Yeah, and I have I have it for every party member, so. so that should hopefully keep Simba around for long enough to get rid of the rest of the waves. And if not, well, we can Dumbo the last one, I guess. And if necessary, Bambi and Tinkerbell, or Genie. But Genie's not good against mob fights. He's good against big enemies. Yeah, I don't see myself ever doing KH one level one ever again. <laughs> oh, that was good, Sora. That was really good. We finished with damage storage.
That killed me? I'm dumb, I should've healed. I thought I would live one hit. Wow! I thought I... I th Is that like a frame perfect to get the pause for the cottage and I've just happened to have gotten it all this time? I'm gonna put Lady Luck back. Lady Luck might help for the weaker enemies in the cottage, yeah. to be honest. I don't think Lady Luck would help me a lick at where I am right now, though. <laughs> Lady Luck! Oh, did you beat it? No. Oh, you're just something new, shoot. Donald destroyed all of them with Blizzard, that's crazy. What can you do against Dark Balls that just constantly teleport and then when they miss you, they just re-teleport? I'm not sure. Because that's what they keep doing! They keep just spamming teleport over and over again so you can't hit them with Mushu. Yeah, that's annoying. That's really annoying. And then they just materialize on top of you and hit you, and then you try to heal from that, and then another one does it the same thing, and there's nothing you can do. To the end. Heal me, Donald. Because because the game was intending for you to be like level 60 at this point, not level 1. I think it tried to heal me. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. The annoying thing is, Kingdom Hearts 1 could have a good level 1 mode, it's just it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, that's unfortunate. The only, the only, I've played a couple games at level 1. The only two that are actually kind of fun are Kingdom Hearts 2 and then Birth by Sleep. Because both of them have abilities that are not tied to your level that actually help you survive. Wind. Come on, destroy him, Janie. Destroy him. Come on, do it. Do it. Come on. Janie, that didn't kill him. Aurora's crazy. Wow. It's so good. Win. Oh, the wind and the rain. It's so good. How many times have I seen that part of the emblem break off? I guess one thing I could I could just try summoning Dumbo for the Dark Balls. I don't feel like it kills all of them, but it kills most of them, and I might be able to do the rest by hand, but... Lady Luck seems to be helping a little bit. Gotcha. It gives you like an additional free strength over the Spellbinder, I think. I think it's just one. No, it, it's, it's a couple points at least. I think it's just one. It was... I can check again, but I just put it on. No. These hands are annoying. Stop. All right. Yes. Yes. I. <sighs> All right. I am going to look up. Strats, because maybe I maybe I just got the wrong strat because this stupid invisible stop thing is I'll not. I'll tell you working. the one that it says on my guide here. What's this called? Is this called Dean? World of Chaos? Um, World of Chaos. Is it Dark Side Three? Nope, that's that's the final boss. World of Chaos is right before Final Rest. Boss World of Chaos face. Wait, no, I don't think it's it. No. Nope. This is Ansem, Ansem, Ansem. What's Chernabog? Oh no, I'm sorry, it's not World of Chaos, it's Linked Worlds. 
Linked Worlds. Is it... World of Chaos is the final Ansem fight. I forgot about that. Um... Okay. What is Chernabog? Have you done that yet? Yeah, I just beat Chernabog. It's the one right after that. Oh, okay. Um... It says, make sure you have full HP and MP and that your items are two elixirs and a mega potion. That's the ideal setup. It says, for the arch behemoth, use damage storage genie, but dismiss him after... Th That's what I'm doing. It says, but dismiss him after three show times and finish off the behemoth regularly. Make sure you finish him with damage storage enabled. You, you can. can't make sure. Yeah, it yeah. says if you can. I've been doing that all the. With the I'm, I'm good at the arch behemoth. Yeah. I'm good at the it arch says, behemoth. As soon as the arch I'm... behemoth dies, super glide over to the emblem door and open the menu. If you kill the behemoth with genie, you can't do this, but killing it regularly means. So I think you've been doing this, the cottage thing, right? And then it says. Been, whenever for I the can. dark ball wave, summon Dumbo and deal as much damage as you can. Oh, I, I have the exact same guy that you have. Finish them with normal combos and fire oh, yeah. As soon as the dark ball wave ends, yeah, use an exactly. elixir. That's yeah, what I've been yeah, doing. Yeah. Next wave. Yes! Next wave is the worst wave by far. Stand in the center of the invisible spawn, wait for them to charge you, jump, and you stop. Yeah. Okay, I haven't been doing the jump, so... Okay. I'll try it with the jump. Mm. See if that makes any difference. Maybe so. I hope so. I hope it's like, no, you were just stupid for not doing this, and it's actually quite easy, but I, I don't think so. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't mind here. Continue. Okay. Whew. I'm gonna cry for a second. Why is this hand so hard to hit? But honestly, if this if this goes on for long enough, I might have to just get up, give up on uh, linked worlds and see if we quit and try again. That might be the option. This tournament is different. I keep dying, but it's not. I'm not. It's not too hard, so I'm not too mad about it. Well, that's, the, that's kind of the one thing giving me comfort in this, where I'm like, I know this is the hardest fight. Yeah. I was, like, before doing this, after just watching videos of people, I'm like, I wonder if this is going to be harder than the final boss. Uh, now I'm like, I can't see the final boss being harder than this. Because at the very least, when you beat one of the waves of the final boss, you get that save. Do you? Or you don't save, but, like, if you die after that, you don't have to do the previous forms. With the exception of Dark Side Free yeah. and the second form. But Dark Side Free is not. I'm pretty sure you can just cheese difficult. the final boss, can you? Don't you just cheese him? You can cheese his absolute final form, but that's only once you have all your party members. Yeah. Can't you just like? Don't you spam like fire or something? You use dam damage store. Well, the first shirtless Ansem, you have to use Fireaga spam, but that's not easy because you also have to dodge all his stuff. And then his the second shirtless Ansem, you can just damage storage move. Shoot so I remember one of them, you can just go behind him and just spam something. Oh, also an annoying thing is on the PS3 version of this game, the you the pause to get the cottage off is really long because it takes forever to oh, load. Oh yeah, I heard about that. But in the PS4 version, it's like super because short, of the really yeah. good load times, it, you literally basically need a frame perfect input. I'm honestly, I'm trying to find a strat that works if you don't get the the cottage off because I only get it maybe like one out of three times. I hate this. I hate this so much. He's monkey. Dude. I used I used to get for the freaking dark balls really consistently, but now they're killing me more than the darks the the invisibles are. Visibles. Jump. St oh, okay. If the stop had actually gotten off, that would have been really great. 
that's definitely key. If if my stop had actually worked as intended, oh yeah, that's exactly what you have to do. They were literally all in a cluster, but for some reason the stop didn't. Like it dropped my input. Yeah, that's that's exactly what you have to do. The jump really does make a lot of difference. <laughs> hey, Rory, you can literally walk through these little witches and destroy them. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. Crazy. Honestly, if this if this goes well enough, <laughs> I shouldn't think, but I that'd be crazy. I'm not opposed the to the idea of redoing everything just so I can get some of those on the Discord. If I think redoing the entire level one run would make this easier, I'd do that. Wait, off what? off camera. Wow, how would that make it easy? Oh, so you could do the other worlds without them being too hard. Yeah, and so that way I could get an extra one MP for this fight. How do you get the extra one MP? Uh, you'll have to do part of the uh, Hades Cup, the first ten rounds of it, but then you get Blazaga. Mm -hmm. And you can use that to get a special chest in the Olympus Coliseum, which gives you an accessory that gives you an additional one oh, MP over okay. what the Ray of Light does. Because yeah. if I had another one MP, I think Simba would last an entire like extra round, so I could summon him around earlier. Mm. Plus, I think that would cause Genie to start doing consistent damage. Or at least like, consistently enough to just obliterate the Arch Behemoth all by himself every time. Yeah. I actually want to practice the okay. strats. Also, I've... We're, we're using Dumbo on the Dark Balls now. I'm sick of Mushu constantly disappointing me. I should get uh, Kingdom Hearts back on. I'm sure there's a way I can get, like, save files. I want to do it where there's a way where I can get save files. That way I can use the save files to practice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I could do. I could find save files like right at Handsome Riku or some of the bosses and I'd try. Whoa! See ya. Why is Dumbo doing so great now? Was it damage storage, Dumbo? Here. Yeah. What were you doing? But I used damage storage. Oh my gosh! That was so good. I have no idea. Maybe just the right angle. Maybe you just got the right angle. Maybe. Oh, I need to heal! I healed, what in the world? I healed and it didn't heal me, what? I really, really hope. All right, all right. I got through the invisibles wave. All right. Is that the first time? Or... Second time. Second time. And I'm summoning Simba right now. I really hope I have enough time before these stupid angel stars kill me. I think I was a little too late though. Get me straight. Die. Okay. Okay. Ooh, how many waves? Next you wave. Have? Next wave. Next wave. How many are left? No. I think just two, maybe? Get me straight. Oh, last wave. Is this the last wave? I really hope this is the last wave. Yet. Oh no, there's still one more. No! Oh, oh, my stupid party members kept dying immediately, so I couldn't summon Mushu. Uh. Okay, so Simba's not enough to get me through all that, but that's... Okay. But now, but I'll say this, the jump before the stop, that is the key. Yeah. That makes it so much more consistent to stop all but one of them. And I even got all of them stopped at one point. 
So that is that is the key. If I can do that, Simba can get rid of pretty much the rest of them. If I was if I was quicker on using the Mega Elixir. Kingdom Hearts is pretty much like just get destroyed and then eventually learn how to not get destroyed. <laughs> That's exactly how I would describe Cuphead as well. Yeah. I think Kingdom Hearts uh, level 1 is harder than Cuphead. Uh, the Kingdom Hearts 1 level 1 is definitely harder yeah, than Cuphead. For sure. You you streamed Cuphead a little bit, didn't did. you? I beat it. I think. I think you got stuck on the clown, oh, right? I, I don't think I ever beat it. I don't think I played it again. I don't know what the last boss I was doing was. I remember one boss made me so mad. I, remember. It was like a I think that was Beppy the Clown. Like a train or something. Oh, the Phantom Express? I don't remember what it was. Or was it the roller coaster on Beppy's? Mm, I completely forget. Oh no, it was it was like a. Carousel type thing, I think. Oh, the swing ride at uh, yeah, Beppy's final form. Yeah. Maybe With like the that. penguins that throw baseballs at you. Yes. Oh, yeah. oh, that made me so mad. Yeah. That made me so mad. Arrow, baby. I did not mean to heal twice. Yeah, the annoying thing, I think if I had one more MP, then Simba would just obliterate the rest of the waves. Yeah. You know what I could do if you want it? <laughs> well, actually, no. What? Because you have it on PS4. I was going to say, I could send you my save file once I, like, complete everything, but, um, you have it on PlayStation. Nah. That one. Yeah, on PC, then we could have the we could have the same save file with everything completed before the final whatever. Okay, well that time the jump didn't work. It might still be on a holiday sale. If you're thinking about getting it on PC, now might be the time to do so. Perhaps. Because the holiday sale I think ends in a few days. Okay, well, darn it, that I don't know if I was just at the wrong part, but that time the jump did not work at all. That's unfortunate. I really hope I was just in the wrong spot. That is unfort. I think I can only give it 20 more minutes before I have to finally call it quits. Right. So that'll probably even out to like three more attempts. Maybe. When did you want to play uh, King of Hearts? Again? Um. I'm pretty open because I right now I don't actually have a stream schedule for 2022 yet. Yeah. I'm still probably gonna do Monday and Wednesday and Saturday streams. I just don't know what I'm streaming, so I could do it pre again pretty soon. As long as I know in advance, then I can do it pretty much any time. Right, and if you wanna if you wanna do some time grinding off screen, then that's that's also cool. I can a lot time. Yeah, that. I need to just do it. Every like night. if you. Especially if you wanted to get the sword cheer ability, which I absolutely am using literally <laughs> right now. <laughs> It would be very useful if I just got everything that you can get. It would be pretty useful. Mm -hmm. I keep dying to spell cup and it's not even that hard. It definitely won't be long before we play again though, because I don't want to procrastinate yeah. anymore. Man, if I had a nickel for every time I killed that arch behemoth, I could buy a couple candy bars, <laughs> I can tell you that. <laughs> I definitely prefer Dumbo against the Dark Balls, though. Way more consistent than Mushu. Mainly because you're invincible yeah. on Dumbo, so they can't teleport frag you. Or they can, but it's not going to kill you. Wow, I'm really locked in the corner with these, huh? What in the world? Why are they going so crazy? They don't normally do this, what? Such 
a waste of magic. Darn it, that jump I don't think is as consistent as I thought it was. The first time I did the jump, they all immediately just went right into the center. Mm. But not anymore. Or maybe I'm timing the jump wrong. That'd be useful to watch strategies of it. Yeah. Well, I watched a strategy right before we started streaming, because I knew this was going to be a problematic yeah. fight, but... I'm sure you've, Fane, where you've had that during this, where you, you're looking up a strategy, yep. you're like, that's literally what I'm doing, yep. but it's not yeah. working for me. Yep. Like, when I was looking up Riku's thing, it's like, I can't get that pattern down that they're doing. Mm -hmm. All right, get wrecked. Ah. <laughs> There's a part of me that's wondering. Because technically the command menu turns blue for like a frame after completing the arch behemoth. Yeah. If you beat it and leave the room, will it remember that you beat him? I don't know, but do you really want to find out? Oh, well, I mean, you know what is happening is if I don't beat this and I'm giving up, I'm going to beat the arch behemoth one last time before leaving the room. Yeah. And then test to see that. Why are these monkeys not dying? Okay, I really... I swear the Invisibles do not get stopped about 50% of the time. Mm. Like, they're ju they just have some stupid immunity. Like, it's like, oh, are they da doing a dash attack? Oh, you can't stop them during that. Like, it doesn't make any sense. There you go. No! I hit it when I get hit while I'm healing. From my perspective, all I can see is Phil just staring at me from your stream. Oh. <laughs> the only consolidation for this fight is that it has epic music. Oh. Yeah. Lady Luck is eight more strength. The reason I thought it was one more is because I was looking where it says seven for Lady Luck and it says eight right below it. I was just looking at the wrong thing. You know the rules, right? I do. That's what, um... No, I'm just saying that's what uh, Phil's saying to me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you know the rules, <laughs> yeah. right? The o there's only one rule for wor for linked worlds. Win. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> By literally any means necessary, because this fight was... If you, if you want n any more evidence that Kingdom Hearts 1 was not intended to be a level 1... Poss possible game. Look no further than the Linked World Slate. Gotcha. Nothing to it. <laughs> Shut up, Sora. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Defense. Here. Gotta heal me, Donnie. 
wet napkin. What are you saying, Donald? For Daisy? No one cares about Daisy. Did anyone ask, Donald? Wow, he destroyed them with Blizzard. Why aren't you gonna have more than three shortcuts in this game? That'd make a big difference. Yes, it would. Oh, he did it! Okay, okay. Ba made it through the Invisibles again. Have a good amount of MP. Summon Simba. Hopefully, we can destroy those waves. And then we can summon Mushu. And hopefully, fingers crossed, get through that last Okay, wave. the consistency of doing that is going up. Well, it takes like two elixirs to do that, but. <laughs> That was scary. You barely have enough time before those angel stars murder you for Simba. What in the world? Why does that do so much damage? I see your Simba going. Okay. Alright. Motion time. And we still... Oh, oh, wait, do we have damage storage? Shoot. Belay. I sure hope we have damage storage. I sure hope we have damage storage. Don't remember, though. I think you do. See ya. Gotcha. Heal. See ya. How are you supposed to get through this fight without Simba? With hard work and determination. No, screw that. That's not a thing in the link Wait, how the heck are you supposed to do that without Simba? That's literally like all the worst enemies all combined in one phase. It would just shock me. Oh, no. You died. Oh, if, um, I'm just going to say if, oh, okay, okay, no, 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 I'm like, if I forgot to equip Sora's cheer, I was going to be really annoyed, okay, did you? Mm. no, I did, I was using cheer, oh, okay. so, <sighs> maybe I can, maybe it's the angel stars you can, hmm, Nothing to it. Look at how these things get run through with this. You just walk in. Yeah, it keeps saying if you have all the cheers, then Simba will last you for the end of the. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe they're lying. Wait, hang on. I need some magic. Either that or they assume that you have the extra MP from either the Diamond Dust Keyblade and or the Shi the Shiva Band. Yeah, that's it. Oh, I hope not. I'm about to die here. I don't have magic. <sighs> okay, well... I'm going to put my experiment to the test now. I'm going to kill the Arch Behemoth, see if it saves. I don't think that saves Wow. It. I don't think so either, but you know what? I'm. I, that was my last attempt. I'm not trying this again. Oh, man. I have no idea. I cannot do that last wave without Simba. There's no possible way. It's got, it literally has Angel Stars, Invisibles, and Dark Balls. There's no way you could get through all of that without. Please don't die in my head, Sora. Definitely die in my head. I should have held. That's unfortunate. So I'm either gonna have to, uh, 
find a way to kill the fourth wave without Simba, or I'm gonna need to get that extra MP. Wow, that fight's really got you stuck. Oh, yeah. Well, it gives me a chance to catch up. I wouldn't celebrate too soon because uh, you have to do this fight I too. Do. <laughs> gives me a chance to catch up. And unlock all my stuff. You know, if, it's, if I... If I can do the preliminaries, then I can do the Hades Cup. And if I do the Hades Cup, I can get that Shiva Bang. You're gonna have to restart level 1, though. No, I don't... I might be able to do the preliminaries. Oh. With enough patience. Mm. Okay, no, it don't, don't say that you beat the Arch Behemoth. I didn't think so, but I had to try. That's unfortunate. Alright then. Yeah, for the preliminaries. It's the stupid red nocturnes. I'm, I'm saying Aurora really helps with them. It really helps a lot. You want to know the problem? Is? I can't get Aurora until I beat the preliminaries. Because oh. <laughs> it's locked behind the yellow trinity. That's tough. And I f Unless I can get all of the puppies without the yellow trinity, in which case I can get Aurora that way. Oh, well, there's an alternate route. I'm going to have to do oh, all that wait stuff. Oh, wait a second. Can I not even exit the Chernabog area to go back to World Terminus? I don't even know if you can at this point in the story. Uh, well, Chernabog's not difficult, so... Alright, uh, well... So you know, if Twitch chat, how I said this was the finishing up? No, we're not finishing mm, up. Yeah. We Heck, we might not even finish it up next stream, with how with how this last fight is yeah, going. Yeah, I was, I was but, about to say, like, end of the world, like... Even for you, like, trying to finish it, like, it can be really hard. It, I didn't... I, I I I knew the linked worlds fight was gonna be hard. I think I underestimated just how hard it was gonna yeah. be though. Yeah. Alright, well I think maybe Do you wanna try grind do you wanna grind off screen? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Then I'm gonna try to grind those stupid preliminaries off screen. Yeah, I'll do these tournaments and, then... and I'll actually do them because I don't wanna procrastinate this. Yeah. Thing. Do do the tournaments and also do I know you hate 100 acre I'm wood to get some ability. I'm gonna do everything ability. that I possibly can. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'll grind elixirs. Oh, oh, no! I know what I'm doing. I'm I'm grinding up elixirs and I am beating the phantom Maybe. to get Stopka. Maybe. Stopka will help against the the invisible so massively. Yeah, I'll do all that stuff too. How do you get? Uh, how do you grind elixirs? Um, rabbit's house. In Hundred Acre Wood, Rabbit's house. If you pick up his pumpkins and his cabbages, they have a small chance of dropping elixirs. Oh, so you just... And you can just keep entering his house and exiting and repicking oh, so them. Oh, you just keep RNGing, farming for elixirs. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. Mega elixirs are a lot harder though. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. All right. Mm. Well, thank you all for watching. Anybody who actually watched this, if you if you watched the whole stream, I feel sorry for you, and you should probably find something better to do with your time. <laughs> Thanks for joining in, Fly. This was definitely yeah, fun, no matter how much frustration was faced. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good night, everybody. I'll see you guys tomorrow for something. Don't know what it'll be yet.